pick up more zoom? I don't know. It looks like half on, half off now. It looks like it's between the rocks to me. Yeah. It does look between yeah. to me. The last one did too after I got a good look at it. Yeah. yeah. You want another, you want the other one to see the tiebreaker maybe? I don't know. Sure. Maybe to be more definitive. If, if we don't have to move, if it's super quick. Yeah, come wide. Uh, I mean, just over here looking at the seat. Oh, it's, it's no, it's yeah. This, I mean, a little scooch. Yeah. <laughs> just put it in the light. Video zoom. Oh my gosh, it's still really hard to tell. It's on a rock. Is it? I think yeah. it's a little bit behind mm -hmm. the rock. This rock and this rock. Because when it kind of lifted up a little, it looked like it was on sediment, didn't it? Like yeah. under yeah. that little lip. Is All that right. one that we're looking at, right? On the yeah, the yeah. I don't. Raj. I think we can call it sediment. I think so. It looks like. <laughs> Do you Both. see it on bubble? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it looks like on a rock there, right? Even though it's all jostly. I don't know. Yeah. Cause it, what I'm seeing on bubble is Come these on. are definitely two different rocks here. I was I think I was also seeing some holothurian poo. Uh, poo. Bubble cam drank light roast today. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. I think we're good to get moving again. Okay. Sure. Let's see here. Go uh, high five waypoint seven and then uh, start heading uphill yeah. again. Yeah, sure. Cool. You want to make one more move there, Solomon? Towards waypoint seven? Yeah, yes, please. Okay. High five waypoint seven. Why not? We got time. It will be 310. 310. Praise this is Nav. Can we move the ship uh, on, on bearing 310, uh, 30 meters, please? You have any interest in zooming these two? Or you're happy? I think we're all right. Without knowing what, they're, what the deal is. <laughs> Definitively. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, that one looked like sediment. Little halosaur as yeah. we cruise by. Get out of there. Okay. Yeah, we're down. I have a geology question for Val. Kidoki. How does the composition of the rock beneath a manganese layer continue to affect the manganese deposition rate? Uh, that is a very good question that I do not know the answer to. Um, I don't know if it's composition so much as um, surface roughness at the microscopic scale. Um, differences in that conceivably can affect how, uh, how efficiently or how, or the ability in general of uh, something to nucleate out of the seawater. So it looks like uh, it's off screen now, but off to the left, there was another one of those uh, uh, aridogorges that had just been- What's going on by the starboard bio? Chomped on. Mm. Missed it. There are so many fish in this area. So many fish in the sea, huh? I mean, there's two on the screen right now. <laughs> yeah. Now extrapolate that out to a whole ocean. I think that might've been from a little bottom nudge a second ago. Back into a lot Sorry, of lava. Take your bubble real quick. Uh, yeah, nice.
video zoom. That's an old hold fast. That is big, yeah. I imagine that's pretty top heavy, so it's good to have a good hold fast. Mm -hmm. And I a nice in-place rock to sit on. Looks like there are two stems coming out of the same hold fast there. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. That oh, was yeah. a good observation. Is interesting. Yeah. All right, folks, we are slowly coming up on a uh, shift change here. So uh, four to eight watch is uh, going to start moving on in. I'm switching out with Steve. Raj. Raj, thanks, guys. Thanks, Raj. Is that the pom-pom an enemy up there? Switch out. We had a question about what makes Halosaurus a fish versus being an eel. Um, eels are fish. Uh, they are a subset. So I don't know where the Halosaurus uh, fits in that, in that gamut. But its scales and backbone uh, make it a fish. I don't know what the requirements are to be considered an, an eel officially. Uh, somebody asked about our watches. We have uh, three watches that rotate out in four hour shifts. Uh, our time, this is uh, coming on four o'clock. We are the 12 to 4 a.m. and 12 to 4 p.m. watch. So the next crew is taking over to do four to eight, and we plan to be back up on the ship uh, by the end of that watch. So we've got a couple of three hours. I'm not sure exactly how long. All right, changing is. over. See you guys uh, next 12 four to watch. 12 yep. to four watch. Justin signing off as well. I'll see you for the uh, short little dinner break. I'll be back in a little bit. How was it? That's a good check. You sure can. Yep. Hey, Lynette, when you're ready, let me know. I am ready. Okay, we can just go ahead and start moving towards waypoint eight, please. Okay. Oh, okay, toward waypoint eight. Yeah, waypoint seven is not like something super magical we need to go to. All right. And We're I want to make it. sure we get into the oxygen range I'm looking for to get my last sample. Okay. All right. What time do we need to come off bottom, Trevor? Uh, about quarter to seven, 6.45. Okay, thanks. Do you want a 50 meter ship move? Sure. All right. Heck yeah. Bridge, nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing two four zero, please? Thank you.
All right. Some different things than what we were seeing on our last shift here. Oh, yeah. And we're going up to 900 meters, is that the goal? Something like that. Something around that that number. What is that brownish rock <coughs> sponge in the middle? Dead sponge. Thomas things again? Maybe. No, um, Val was saying she was seeing some high ilo clastite earlier. Okay. Uh, that's what this looks like to me. So somewhere cool. above us, there's a broken down high ilo clastite. What's the white thing at the top of the screen? I believe they were looking at something similar to that earlier, although that doesn't look like what they were looking at. Let's have a partial zoom on that, please. Okay, I'll shimmy up a little bit. You can go in there, Steve. Huh. It looks like a little baby sponge. <laughs> yeah. I do not know. That's different, then. And there's a little baby urchin, too. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Okay, thank you. Cute. Yeah, you can come wide. Thank you. Yeah, so see how the sediment here kind of has this tan brown Yeah, what is that reddish. about? Yeah. So that's uh, what Val was talking about Ooh. during her watch. This um, volcanoclastic sediment. Um. Okay, thanks for confirming, Steve Auskovich, that that was indeed a sponge. Looks like there's some more of those little, little sponges here in this area. And perhaps some sea pens off to our right. Although, they look like they're attached to rock, so they have a sea pen type look to them. Can you zoom in on the sea pen type look? We'll have a sea pen type look at them. Let's look. <laughs> are they on rocks or are they on little bits oh. of sediment? Yeah, they're in little bits of sediment. Yeah, they were seeing these kinds of sea pens earlier in the dive. I don't know what, remember what they're called. Okay. Thank and you. A star. Yep, it looks a little, so weird. looks like a cookie. Cookie star down there. Hmm. Fish in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. What is that? Ooh, I don't know. Oh, oh wow. That's a different seep. Zoom in on that, please, Steve. What is that? Who are you? Oh, my goodness. Wow. I do not know that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that. I have never seen that before. And it seems like oh, it's a pretty large like a giant crab. A giant. A giant. What in the oh. world is giant? <laughs> it's waving. Hey, Hello to you, too. <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to change. All right, thank you, Steve. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Giant purple. <laughs> Another one right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're everywhere. Did prior watches come across these? Penitula. I don't remember watching, uh, seeing them before. Penitula. It's a sea pen oh. from our scientist ashore, Steve Oskovich. Wow, it looks so different from the ones we usually see. Oh yeah, okay, Penitula. Okay, uh, we got an Aridogorgia, and what looks like maybe a crinoid at the bottom of the screen. I don't think we've seen one of those sea pens before. I don't know if other watches have. 
I didn't see I it on the previous I, watch. I feel like we would have heard about it, maybe. <laughs> Looks like there's a sea like cucumber that. on that rock, right just to the left of the lasers. Oh, yeah. I believe a plexorid coming up. Yeah, sediment, uh, rocks and sediment here are a bit different. <coughs> Little baby sea star. For the viewer wondering, yes, we just found out that that was a type of sea pen, uh, very different from the ones we usually see. So surprise to everyone, I think. Yeah, just a reminder to our audience that um, we have a mixture of expertise in the room. None of us are trained animal biologists. <laughs> nope. So <laughs> there's always some new discoveries for us fish. here. Yeah, the fish. We're learning as we go. And relying on our scientists ashore for backup or front line. There's another, what well, looks to be an eel-type fish coming into the frame. I think this is the most fish we've seen on any of our dives. Yeah, fish yeah, and shrimp. Like we've yeah, seen fish a and lot shrimp. Of. Is that because it's shallow here? <laughs> well, we started at a depth that was very similar to our, our some of our previous dives. Bridge um, nav. It's moving very gracefully. Sure. Can we There's have another step? Five zero map. meters, two four zero. Thank you. It looks like a Paragorgia in red and a very large Bersingid sea star to the left. I believe these are the Pleurocorallium that they were seeing earlier, a little bit smaller. Can we get a partial on this thing over here? Yes, we I've can. Second time I've seen it and I don't know what it is. And again, another shrimp. <laughs> All right, Steve, you can go in there. I'm going to be a bit far away because I've got coral underneath oh, okay. me. Okay, it's a different type of crinoid. crinoid. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. There's another crinoid going off to the bottom of the screen. Mm. This yellow, we think, is a plexorid coral. Did we say what we think that fish was? I didn't look at it too, too closely. No, we didn't. Um, it looked like a synaphobranch. Mm. I think. I don't think it had pronounced fins. Yeah, I didn't. I feel like I didn't see but any. But kind of has the head that reminds me of a halosaur. Halosaur. So I'm not sure. Could have been a halosaur, could have been a cinebrank. Got it. There's another one of those crinoids. Yep. Chilling out. Another sea pen. couple different types of sponges it looks like yeah. we've got one type here another one here and another one up here and far mm. left is different and again. far yeah. left yeah and another, another fish. fish can <laughs> we get a partial on this one yes we can go ahead Steve you're ready today hmm Oops. Mm, it's got a, it looks like a hydroid attached to it too. You can come wide and when Thanks. you do, um, I actually like to look at this rock right here. Oh yeah, okay. 
Zoom in there, please. It's still encrusted. Huh, it is, yeah. It's an interesting, perplexing, what what it's telling us about this volcano, <laughs> this ancient Indeed. volcano. Okay, Weird. you can come okay, wide. Thanks. Thank you. And then we're getting back into something different. It's a beautiful uh, fan looking coral. With, with a, a giant hold fast. Hold fast. Yeah. <laughs> Gigantic hold fast. Is that a hemicorallium? I don't think that's a hemicorallium. No? It's, no, it doesn't have the same branching structure. Um, Some looked more like... Gorge off to the left, I think. Yeah. Um, do, do, do. Do we have a picture of that? The one with a big base is a Caligorgia, which is a primnoid. Thank you for that, Steve. I suspected it was a primnoid. I just couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> we got a lot going on right here. There's a lot of so life. So many different yeah. animals. And yeah, and it seems that we have different ones contrast, depending right? on uh, the substrate type. Mm -hmm. I think that's a sea star going off on the bottom right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Some more sea pens. Yep. That was a rather large sea star and a oh fish. Yeah. Another purple crinoid. So earlier on the dive, um, after our shift, there was uh, some rather plump looking sea stars <laughs> observed <laughs> nomming on corals and some of our uh, longtime viewers were very excited mm -hmm. because they believe that's a new behavior sighting oh. of a particular what type of sea star on a particular type of coral. Another shrimp off to the left. Another one of the squatty hanging on the sea pen. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so these purple crinoids seem to somehow be showing up in these hyaloclastic type um, debris fields, which I don't remember seeing them before we got into this material. Yeah. Same with these Penatula um, sea pens. Mm -hmm. Did the previous ship try to do any of the push cores? Have they explored that sediment at all? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if they've tried poking in it. Um, I don't know that this is sediment I would want. Okay. <coughs> Shelby, where are two people tuning in from for the shift today? Let's take a look. Um, we have folks from Hong Kong, Portugal, United Kingdom, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, and the United States. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Feel free to send in questions if you have any. Yeah. Well, Especially when we get into blue water in two hours. <laughs> If you want to send in trivia, uh, you know, that we like that too. That's fine. Bridge, nav, but blue water only. 
Can we have another step? Five zero meters, two four zero. Thank you. Viewers wondering, is there a reason why some areas have lots of life and others are very sparse? I know a lot of it has to do with the substrate, but I know there's some other factors in play, right, Beth? Yeah, so uh, when we're on these basaltic areas, um, a little bit different than what we're looking at here, uh, anywhere that's rubbly or looks like it's been recently uh, in geologic history disturbed, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, often has lower density. Um, and so that's one factor, whether or not the substrate is stable. Uh, those big fan, coral fans and big sponges and other things that have been seen earlier in the dive, those typically are found on uh, in, please, boulders and things like that that are in current. Um, I'm guessing in this little saddle that we're in, there's not a lot of current. Mm. So you get a di different mixture of animals. It's a nice shot. Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, yeah, we he's didn't just see this side away. Before, so. Look at it. He just grabbed something and oh. he's putting it in his mouth. Oh, look at that. Oh. He's eating. Yum, 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 That's yum, 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 I'll never forget this. Yum, 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 yum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I can't believe that thing is technically a uh, sea pen. Yeah. That's crazy. It looks oh, like a cabbage shrimp. leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Sea pens are a type of coral. Are sea pens a type of coral? <laughs> <laughs> we are. We are um, <laughs> figuring that out for you. Uh, oh, one moment. Yes. One yes, moment. they are an octo coral. Uh, yes, yes, they are. <laughs> what is? <laughs> how do I phrase this? What is this? Oh yeah, oh, look fish. at that. Big fish. Can we get a fish zoom? Fish zoom. Yeah, can you turn on porch light, please? I'll try to get close. Put that behind the fish. I'll try not as to well. scare him. Maybe a pom pom. Boom. And Go ahead, Steve. Yeah, maybe. What's on the fish? There's. Oh, what? What? Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the back oh. end of the fish with a. Its head is so pronounced. Like Where are you going, buddy? Compared to on the back. rest of its body. Isopod? That's what I was thinking. Oh. Oh, but I don't a, know. There's a guy sticking out of the Whoa. rock there. <laughs> Just some legs, some tentacles. I think that's a worm. Oh. oh. Just saying. Steve says a parasitic isopod, perhaps, with a question. Hmm. Oh. Do we know what kind of fish this is? I am struggling to figure that out. It's pretty cute. All right, I gotta leave it alone now. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you. Gataformes. Can we lose porch light? Yes. Thank you. So now that we're getting back into the area with more boulders, we're seeing a change in community structure where we're getting these corals attached, like the Chrysogorgia um, that we're seeing on the right-hand side. I think that's a Metallogorgia, if I'm not mistaken. But I could be mistaken. Here's a good question. Somebody's wondering, with so many eyes scanning the video, what techniques do we use to scan the frame and switch between sort of trying to figure out what's approaching in the dark uh, versus the bigger things, the smaller things? I know color helps me a lot as soon as I learn to sort of associate the color with a certain organism. And then I think movement helps. You know, we're looking at stationary things and a fish comes by. We're like, fish. That's probably for lessons. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just quick scanning for pattern recognition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Years of practice and where's Waldo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. We also have some big screens in here. We also have very large screens. Good point. But Steven has the best screen in general. Yeah. So he so? sees things before we do sometimes. <laughs> Steven, do you have a better screen than we do? Yes. Oh. And he's like right in front <laughs> of it. Two. Yeah, he's I like have two of them. <laughs> I have like professional video monitors. You have computer monitors back there. Can we get a partial on this yeah. right here, please? Yes, we can. Lovely botryoidal texture okay, on this rock. Okay, there's two different things going on here. Oh, hi, ah. shrimp. All right. Do you want more than that? I'll have to reposition. It's okay. Okay. Botryoidal, botryoidal <laughs> refers to just this sort of the bumpy, bumpy like texture yep for myself and for anyone else wondering it's my new geology word do we know what causes that i'm sure someone does okay uh. hi from portland thanks for joining us hi from indonesia thanks for joining us which portland, portland? oregon or portland maine yeah you gotta specify because uh, we got uh, sorry lovers of both here i'm an east coaster um portland oregon Okay, well, Portland. we still like you. Yeah. <laughs> Portland, Not Oregon. as much, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Portland, Oregon, sorry. The room's very biased towards Maine right now, so. <laughs> so different types of Chrysogorgia coming by, as well as, I think, a yellow Plexorid and a yellow Crinoid. Still seeing some of those purple Crinoids also on the rocks. Paragorgia off to the left. And the far distance, the big white one, I believe, is a Norella primnoid. Maybe. Maybe a slightly different one. Oh, glad you found us, viewer from South Carolina. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I feel like that one has a different name, like candle something, candelabra. But I can't find it. Hey, there's Ooh. the fur. Beard hat. Oh, yeah. Beard hat. Oh, beard hat. Beard hat. Beard hat. The stay away from that. Gorgida day. I can smell it from here. No, no, no. yeah. Can you zoom in on this, please? Calyptrophora. Thanks, Steve. It looks so nice and healthy and not rotting. Super smelly. <laughs> 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 looks like there's some hydroids also nearby. Yeah. Uh -huh. So are the fuzzy wispiness, that's the sponge or that's on the sponge? That's on the sponge. Okay. Uh, bridge that's now. Hydrates. Can we move five zero meters to four zero, please? We yeah, uh, we Thank collected you. one of those. Geo did it, eh? Thank you, Steve. Oh, I'm I'm combining names, aren't I? Geo did it, eh? Chrysogorgia coming in. Looks like a Chrysogorgia bella off to the right. Maybe a Chrysogorgia flavescens. Steven, if you want to come in at all in Atalanta, I'm pretty stable. Roger that. It's super Thanks. clear right now. Yeah, yeah it's good, good clear shot. You're making well, her we got the runaway great. zoom, so uh -oh. that may be why we're uh -huh. Runaway zoom. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. I'll let it drift in once. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Close. Here's the 
Caligorgia again. Oh, wow, it's really so cool. Still going. Still going, <laughs> Still and we're getting going. closer. <laughs> Can you do a gauge check on her using Atalanta? Sure thing. <laughs> All right, let's see if that helped. If I can. Nope, running away from me. Uh. It's a pretty broad range that's of zoom bad. you got. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know it even got that close. <laughs> oh, look at this fan. Wow, me. that's gorgeous. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Hold fast. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And strong. Is that two of those crinoids, the purple crinoids? It looks like it's two, maybe. Can we get a partial zoom on this leggy orange-brown one? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead there. So I think this is Swiftia, but I'm not sure. Ow. Boop. Okay, thank you for the confirmation, Thanks. Steve. Great. Okay, we can keep going. For the couple of viewers wondering if we think we're discovering a new species who gets to name it, I am not super privy to that process, but I know taxonomic identification takes a long time and that it's bad practice to name it after yourself. That's all I know. That yeah. might know more. <laughs> yeah, there's... Uh, not a lot of rules, but uh, one thing we do intend to do, uh, because we are within the Papahanamoa Kuakea Marine National Monument, is that any uh, new species identification with a name uh, will involve some conversation with the Papahanamoa Kuakea um, Native Hawaiian Cultural Working Group. Um, to see if there can be uh, names that uh, connect kind of the scientific understanding of these organisms with the cultural understanding of these organisms and the place that they're being discovered. Um, but you're right, Shelby, that that process isn't instantaneous. It is not. Um, Take some time. So we're, if you're looking at HIPAC and channel three on Nautilus Live, you'll see that we're just starting to come out of this flatter area, maybe coming into a steeper terrain. And I'm keeping my eye on the oxygen concentration. So I think it's gonna keep dropping. I may have missed oh, the discussion. Weird earlier. little trail there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like something rolled down the hill. Oh, it goes yeah. a long way. Yeah. You can see an Atalanta view. Someone yeah. was bowling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, Steve? Oh, I may have missed the discussion early on. Are we are we going to make it to the summit? The that we do we think? Um, yes, we are. Our final waypoint is the uh, summit on the northern side of Nootka Seamount. There's a big saddle and another summit just to its south. So this, unlike um, King George, which we'll be diving on tomorrow, King George is a flat top geo, which means at some point in its history, it was above sea surface. Um, and this one does not have a flat top structure. Is it geo like G-E-O? G-U-Y-O-T. What? It's French. G-U-Y? Yeah. O-T. Yes. Oh, I was way off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want us to move faster? Uh, sure. Okay, Are when we, we do our next move, we can increase speed. Okay. To something, I don't know, point 0.4. Okay. Um, although, somewhat soon, we might want to take a rock sample. That doesn't okay. mean we can't go fast till we get there. Yeah, it's pretty slow. Sorry, it's yeah. pretty shallow. So yeah, um, right. We don't have to deal with major swing, which is yeah. nice. Yeah, let's let's crank it. 
crank it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's about 550 meters to our last waypoint. Okay. Roger that. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I feel like we've been looking at gray and sort of buff colored sediment, and this is so different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's got kind of a more golden tone mm -hmm. to a lot of it. Fish. Chilling out. For the viewer wondering about, I guess, crinoids and how old they are, I do know they are very, very old. I think they Ooh, are. Look at that sea star. The oh, oh, wait, one, Nine. two, three, four, five, Nine. six, seven, eight. <laughs> I always have to count the legs. Uh, <laughs> I think it's nine. Nine, yeah. Yeah, yeah nine. It's pretty. That is really pretty. It looks like it could be like a star, like in the sky type of star, too, because it's <laughs> color. Stick it on the Christmas More tree. Shrimp. Stick it on the tap. More <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> Ooh, hello, um, coral. What was the thing? Oh, yes. Uh, crinoids are very old. I was reading about them earlier. And they're, I think, the Ooh, oldest acanoderms. Chrysogorgia here. Over 400 million years old, they've been in the in the ocean, Ooh. so they've been all around for a while. I want to talk about crinoids on our blue water time. Okay, because yes. they're really cool. They are, and they're pretty. And they're. You so don't want to talk about xenophyophores? Right, isn't that oh, your? Obviously, <laughs> I'll sneak some xenophyophore talk in there. Have you uh, replaced them already? No, <laughs> definitely not. They're not as cool as xenophyophores. <laughs> Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing two five zero and increase speed to zero point four knots? Thank you. There's a big stocked sponge coming up in the Atalanta view. Look at this oh, black coral. Right. I yeah, think. it's a black coral. Is Whoa. that a black coral? That is huge. Have we yeah, seen one this is big? We have oh, not big. on this dive, but okay. um, this is also new. It's like, Whoa. I think it's that thing we've seen before. It's just actually all with its polyps Whoa. out. Oh, oh. wow. Yeah, oh, is that oh this, goodness. like the squeaky toy? The yeah, toy. <laughs> okay, is it one of the squeaky toys? <laughs> it's like a big, a big version of the squeaky toy, too. It's like a squeaky toy with a bunch of smaller squeaky toys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Um, That's we also would like to get some partial zooms on that black coral, too. Roger that. But that's beautiful. Thank you. So you this know is a bathy pathies. <laughs> it's a huge. This is gigantic. Oh. Better thruster wash. Sorry. It's so Zoom in feathery. There, please. And I'll slide up it. I just love the crabs hanging out. They're so big. They're huge. This is a really wow. big black I want to just think of like, wow, for the whole time. <laughs> Thanks. Holy smokes. Wow. Shrimp, shrimp. And shrimp. a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Can't forget about them. <laughs> yeah, they're like photobombing. And uh, That's everything. That's what I was just going to say. Photobombing. <laughs> they have like younger sibling energy. You're like, look at this beautiful thing. But look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a rope? Can you do a snap zoom on this, please? What am I seeing there? What is that? Yeah, yeah it's rope. Debris. Looks like a rope, yeah. You can come wide, please. I can do a quick look at this, but I'm going to give that a wide berth. You don't want that in your thrusters? Not today, no. <laughs> Nice looking sponge. Agreed. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Looks like a very comfy chair. <laughs> mm. Made out of glass needles, I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sounds oh, pointy. If you use your imagination. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Fish.
So this actually looks like it might be more sedimenty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Trevor, what do you think about setting down and giving it a poke to see how sure. deep it is? Should we stop the ship? Is it going to be a potential push core? Uh, yeah, let's stop the ship. Sure. Okay. Um, can you uh, Bridge tilt now, just so I can see how expansive it is? Can we hold position, please? Thank you. Several different sea stars. Ooh, goes a good way that way. And it looks a look left. Look at that. Flame. It's like a dried lake bed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe let's go to the right just a little bit. It looked like it might have a chance Roger. of being a little thicker. To the right. It's like you could just see tire tracks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy how dry it looks, and it's at the bottom of the ocean. Right? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Wow. So this way? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not sediment. That's like baked yeah crust but mm. like you can peel it off wow, look up to the left there it's like bricks away yeah oh, weird yeah okay my cobblestone my oh yeah whoa let's get us let's go up and look at that uh that yeah, is a you really oh, need and are like crazy. a bunch of crinoids on the floor on the yes interesting um i don't think a push core is going to be successful but whoa. i am interested wow, in this look at that. what is I that i feel like i'm I'd looking look at like yeah, it's uh, the road to atlantis yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the yellow oh brick road God. this is the yellow brick road Wow. Yeah, can we get some still cam <laughs> shots of this, please? Yeah, what is getting lots of them. What is this? I feel like we're like out Mount Vesuvius, like <laughs> excavating. <laughs> right. Yeah. This is bizarre. Yeah. So cool. Are you kidding? This is crazy. <laughs> it's like bricked. This is weird. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to the end of my leash over here before I cannot. Okay. Yeah. But uh, this is 90 degrees out the way the ship's moving, so. Try and make it it's a little expedient. Like, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so weird. Uh -huh. I feel like I see other like tiny pieces of brick. Maybe it got crushed up yeah. or something. Who built their house down here? <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. All right, that's my limit. Okay. Cool. That's a really unique feature. That was really, really something. All right, we can resume our regular heading. Okay, <laughs> and you still want to be looking at poking and push no, cores? No, yeah, now that I see it up close, I realize that this is not going to be push coreable. Roger that. All right, you want to continue ship's move? Yes, please. Okay. There's another geodid a day. Got a oh question yeah. from New Zealand. Are you able to advise on the rough sizes of coral seen? For example, how large was that black coral? Yeah, we will. So Bridge if you have. Answer you in just a second. Can we move five zero meters to five zero, please? You can increase speed too. Thank you. Or did you already do that? Already did. Roger that. Yep. And Lynette, I think that's probably the last move we need to make to the southwest. We can just start heading to waypoint nine. Okay. Thanks. Um, yeah, so to the viewer's question, if you're looking at channel one, uh, you'll see these two green dots on the seafloor moving left with us. Um, those lasers are 10 centimeters apart, and so we use those as kind of calibration marks to estimate the size of what we're seeing. Also, if you look in channel two of the satellite feed or the upper right-hand quad, um, you see the Atalanta view of HERC looking at the seafloor. Trevor, can you remind us what what the dimensions of HERC are? It's about uh, uh, three meters long, two and a bit meters tall, and two-ish meters wide. Okay, so yeah, so you can use that as another frame of reference. So sometimes we drive up on sponges and fans, coral fans, that are as wide as the front of HERC. So that gives us another way to estimate size. How tall do we think that black coral was? Gigantic. Oh, beautiful. Do you want to turn on the, the uh, peek under the ledge light? Yes. Peek oh. under the What's ledge light. What's under there? 
Hard to see. Go ahead, zoom. Blow it all Sorry, up. I'm messing up. I'm messing with something over here. Oh, Roger. Yeah, no, nothing. Is that nothing really hiding except for that one thing that's hiding. Yeah, there's <laughs> a shrimp or something <laughs> hiding back there. I'm trying to work on this spider. runaway zoom. Oh. Roger. Thanks. <clears throat> I'll take a push core right here, right, Beth? <laughs> Yeah, you can try. <laughs> get the diamond tipped push core. Yeah. <laughs> the drill oh. bit. Yeah. Can we get a little more light on Herc's camera? Thank you. So it looks like Caligorgia off to our left, those two fans with all the brittle stars in them. These are probably some bamboo whips up in the, the tall things at the top center screen. Oh, the wavy ones? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, just below those is uh, Chrysogorgia. Maybe what looks like a Norella species also with brittle stars. Well, I can't quite be certain. It might just be a small Caligorgia. Is that Swiftia there in the... Yeah, it looks like Swiftia. The pink leggy one. Oh, new to me, okay. Uh, can we pan right back to those, what I said were bamboo whips? They might actually be something else, Ooh. if we could have a look. So can we get a uh, partial zoom to see if there's a bamboo structure on the stem or not? Go ahead, Steve. You looking for, what are you looking for? To see if these are bamboo. Oh, just looking but for notes? But they are not. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is yeah. actually a Chrysogorgid, a new one to me. Uh, Radicipes. Thank you. Nice, thanks. Good catch. That wasn't me. That was our expert, Steve Auskovich, joining us from shore. Oh, yeah, there it is. New one on my list to check off. <laughs> so that runaway zoom can be fixed by toggling the auto iris on and off. Roger. If you encounter that in the future. It's, cool. in our, it's in our log over here. Okay, we should put that in the red book too. If you got a moment. I've got a moment. One, two, three shrimp, four shrimp. Oh yeah, look at that. Somebody, somebody's wondering if the hold fast that we see on the corals would be like hard or like soft and spongy if you touch them. I've never touched one. I think they're generally kind of more rigid. Mm. What did you toggle off and on, Stephen? It was the auto iris on the Atalanta. The auto iris. On the uh, mini Zeus controller. Thank you. I'm glad those are related. What do you, yeah, it's weird, huh? Yeah. Keep on coming down, oxygen. What range are you looking to take your sample in? Uh, so I was watching the oxygen concentration when Herc was on its descent, and its lowest value was around 10 micromolar at around 1,000 meters. Hmm. That was a bit off of the seamount where we started the dive, so I'm not sure if it'll be exactly the same, but that's what I'm looking for. What is it right now? Uh, 13. So I could just look. 13. Cool. 13 and change. Oh, I don't know, I have the uncorrected value, I think. It says 16.5. Yeah. Can I get a reset, please? Thank you. Another shrimp. <laughs> Another 
two Chrysogorgia flubescens coming into view. What is the white thing? Is that a sea star or a slime star? Right in the center below the crinoid? Oh, it's like a star. Zoom in on the star, please. Bridge nav. Ooh, that's bright star. Is Can it a we sponge? move five zero meters two seven zero, please? Sponge. Maybe sponge. 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 Thank you. Thanks. Hello from Cottageville. I don't know where that is. But um Real leggy thing <laughs> to the right. We are not um in a submarine. These are remotely oh operated yeah. vehicles. Let's have a look at that. Which one? This and white leggy, leggy thing. Are on the ship. Okay, Two white leggy please. things. Look at the baby crinoids. Oh yeah, there's crinoids everywhere. Mm. And a shrimp. And a shrimp. Of and course. a shrimp. Mm. Of course. Can't, can't. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I'm just going to sit here in the back. Oh, now it's going to so do something to get our attention. <laughs> Maybe a primnoid. I'm still stuck on that first one we saw earlier. It was just like right in mm -hmm. the screen. and was mm -hmm. like, did a little, you know, dance. Can we get a closer zoom on the stems of the white yeah. one? Sorry. The stem, like the base or the? Uh, no, like for instance, where it's uh, eaten away, where it's oh really yeah. easy to okay, see sure. I'll what it see is. see what I can do. Okay, go ahead, Steve. Oh, okay, might be a Whoopsies. bamboo. Ugh. Okay, so this might be maybe part of the J-clade? I don't know. Some type of bamboo coral. I'm gonna right, say. I gotta get out of here. Are those ring anemones on that bare patch? I wasn't paying attention, Steve. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like so focused on the coral, I missed everything else. What's our bearing now? Sorry. Two seven zero. Two seven zero. Sea star nomen on a coral to our left. Yeah. Ooh. We're rolling a little bit. Yeah. Just a tad. Oh, Stephen, I think I have a you question, because I don't, definitely don't know. Someone's just wondering sort of how large are the monitors that we're sort of looking at? I know there's a variety of uh, viewer. Uh, we all have sort of different ones, but there are really giant ones that I'm sure you've seen in the control van, and there's other ones, but I don't know their size. What's the smallest one? smallest one might be these the best ones over here well actually no there's really small ones up here <laughs> i mean uh, anywhere in this van from oh I didn't, i've never even noticed those uh five inches to what are those uh probably like s i would say 48 inches mm. what about that teensy tiny one all the way at the top <laughs> it's like two inches all the way to the right oh, oh yeah wait. there you go <laughs> yeah i got another one right here that's yep Inch and a half, two inches, <laughs> two to forty-eight. And that's the best screen we can turn in the, the whole we can, van. We can turn the front four into w kind of one monitor. Uh, Trevor, can we have a look at these holes in the rocks? Yes, we can. Then it'd probably be, uh, you know, eight foot monitor. Right. <laughs> eight, you know, and monitors oh. are measured uh, diagonally, typically. Oh. Okay, go ahead and I zoom. Know that. So when you buy a 48 inch TV, what? it's not four feet wide, it's it 40, four feet here. corner to corner. Oh, this is, well, I've been measuring them wrong. Wild. So. Yeah, this, okay, you can come wide. Seamount has all kinds of crazy structures. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of our viewers are still like, what were the bricks? Where does it yeah, lead to I Atlantis? Don't <laughs> I don't they know where the bricks were. They definitely were. weren't bricks, but. Well, they weren't bricks, but they brick like. They're like brick like. Yeah. Shale almost. Hey, Steve, I've actually never seen mondo mode in during a dive can we do that for like 30 seconds is that hard i don't know i don't <laughs> know if I, if I know how to do it is that where all four screens are one yeah yeah giant yes. <laughs> very so impractical cool. <laughs> but, so cool. but, so but so cool but so cool especially if we can turn our view on in channel three of like what it looks like over our shoulders right <laughs> let me look around a bit see if i can figure it out roger 
So it looks like there's their bamboo coral off to our left that we just saw a few moments ago. Of course, a little shrimp going off to the right. Of course, a little shrimp. <laughs> These rocks look like bubbles. Yeah, they look like uh, rocky soap bubbles. <laughs> yeah. That's because they are, uh, what's the word for bumpy, crusty? Patrioidal. In unison. <laughs> you love it. All wall, but For all bingo. wall button is the mondo. That sounds promising. Are you ready to fire your dive salvo back? Yes. You <laughs> bet I am. Uh, okay. No. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. It. <laughs> That's all. That's every camera everywhere in the world on the boat. <laughs> what? <laughs> False. Incorrect. False. <laughs> so funny. Oh, wow. You that have was chosen funny. poorly. <laughs> I, I wish I... That wow. was the fail wall. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had uh, the, the cameras on the van for the viewers at that moment. Do we have 32 pictures per screen? I don't know. It was a lot. <laughs> I was just concerned that the, the streams were, didn't, were changed to that point. Oh, but Roger. They were, they were good. You know, that's funny because they put the quad view up on my sonar screen. So I started flying by the quad view. There you go. <laughs> Can we get a partial on this crusty sponge over here? Oh, yeah. I think it's a geodidae or fuzzy hat, but I'm not sure. It's fuzzy hat with something on top. Beard hat, whatever we want to call it. <laughs> Fur beard hat. What is this? Go ahead, Sam. Terrible. <laughs> Geo did it, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's a nice right, little thanks. star accoutrement. Be Bridge interesting nav. to see what the conditions were like where we found Can them. Can we have another five previously. zero meters, two seven zero, please? All right. Thank you. Everyone, close your eyes. Are we taking out a wrap? Yeah. Okay. Woo! Oh, nice big fan off in the distance. You can stay there. Okay, I'll stay here. Ooh. Yeah, so if you were listening a little bit earlier for the view who's wondering um, where Chris Kelly and <laughs> Asako and everybody's tuning in, um, there is the scientists ashore uh, chat and that's where they communicate with us they're watching the feed just like you and um, they're able to help us identify Can you come up animals on delta, um, up on as we come yeah, just yeah. While I take by them out. oh yeah and uh, it's a uh, yeah it's a chat that they have and access to light on, please. and wow. every expedition has uh, access to scientists ashore so that's oh. where we're talking to them Did that, do you want that on just enough to see the tether if we can. Okay. Do you want me to adjust to get you in picture? Yeah, 270, please. Okay. 270. Trevor, oh, yeah. do you think we have enough time to try to take Thank a you. rock before dinner? Yep. You see the tether at all? Tip down? Let me see. Just barely see it. I see it off to the right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Let that looks see great. If I can okay. There it is. Okay, yeah. we can go back to normal ops. Do, do, do. Okay, rock sample. Where do you want to go? Um, I mean, all of this is different than what I was expecting. So we're just looking <laughs> for something um, <laughs> relatively small because there's already something in the bio box. How about uh, not this one, but this one? I see what you're pointing at. Yeah, let's give it a look. Okay. Do you want to hold position? Yes, yes please. please. Thank you, Lynette. Bridge nav. Can we hold position, please? Thank you. Mm, it's not quite as shiny as I want. One of those going <laughs> to work for you, or is that not quite correct? Not quite correct, but I think I saw something off to our right. Okay. Although that sea star is very attractive. Do, 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 do. Where did I see you? Oh, no, you're too big. In this zone, perhaps? Yeah, but it's too big. 
Okay, well, let's go back to what you had picked out. Ooh, sorry. Okay. What about up here? Yeah, okay. Let's have a look. All right, we're here. How about What's your over favorite one rock? of these twos? One of those two. Roger that. Let's see if they're the right size. I'm really liking the one on the left. Roger. They're going to go on the starboard side? No, it's, it's going to go to the forward bio box. Forward, Roger. Uh, do it? In Lambda. Sure. Okay. We'll do it. We can come up on Delta a little bit. Just Roger. To buy us some space. Okay, go ahead and zoom in, please, Steve. with lasers adjacent to it, just so you get some scale. Yeah, that's great. Um, oh, can we make sure we left. get some still cam shots of this area before we muck it up? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready. Okay, come wide. Okay, get the arm out. All right. I got your shots. Thank you. <laughs> and it was the one on the left, right? Left, right. Left, right. <laughs> Correct. Ooh, left eye. Left eye. Left All right eye. Right. <laughs> oh, look at the little floaty coming by. Whee! Drifting on by. Drifting situated. There's been a lot of stuff in the water on this dive. A lot. Yeah, you can see it sometimes when we pass by a okay. more flat rock. And Try to remember to keep that jaw thing closed when you start the minute. Oh, I thought I did. Okay. That's all right. Nope, didn't. Um, okay, which rock is it? Just to the left <laughs> of the lasers. Just to the left. All right. That little beauty. Thank you. And you can call for Steve to zoom whenever you want. Okay, sounds good. Let me get this. And there's at Go least on. two shrimp in the frame. Maybe three. Okay, right. just photo bombing your rock. Another little floaty coming by. The perspective sure takes some getting used to, doesn't it? It sure does. Make sure I approach that the right way. Do, do, do. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Remember those jaws are just a, not a quick tap, but more of a gentle press. Okay. Nice. Okay. Pull up and out of there. Get reoriented a little bit. And then when you put it in the light pool, we can get zooms. Crinoid attacking her. Yeah, Whoa. I see that. <laughs> what wow. just went by? That was a crinoid. Oh my oh, goodness. I've never seen never them swim. swim. <laughs> Dang. I totally didn't even believe you that they swam. That was I told so you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I missed it. I thought you were messing with me. No, I would never. <laughs> can you pause for just a second, Ashton, so yes, I can. Ma'am. Yeah, thanks. That way I can get a nice non blurry shot. Got it. Thank We're you. switching over for dinner, some of us, so you'll hear some new voices. We'll be back. Okay, you happy there? Yeah, that's great. Okay. Awesome. Forward box? Yep. Forward lambda. Lambda, lambda nothing okay. floaty, I hope. Nope. Nope. There's another rock in there, but it'll be very clear which one's which. Floaty rock. Okay. Oh, it's so funny making this arm come back towards yourself. It's very confusing, isn't it? Yeah. Backwards arm. Uh, I think. That's looking good. Okay. 
There we go. Like which joint do I move to bring this in? Maybe, yeah, I mean, you shoulder up, elbow in, but I bet if you just move the end effector with your left hand, you can make it work. Okay, that's getting a little cozy with the lens. That's fine there. Okay, we think that's good. Uh, maybe a little more inboard. A little more in. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay. Ah, that's not the guy. That's... We can drop here. Great. Nice Yay. job. Yay. Nice. Thank you. Yay. Thank you all. What a great time to come in on dinner, really. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. It was nice doing arm things with you all. What, uh, what number rock is that for you, Ashton? Oh... Losing count. Yeah, that's so great Four that you've gotten five. so much practice that you're losing count already. <laughs> it's <was> great. <laughs> oh, okay. Put that arm down. That is one five nine. Uh -oh. um, we're gonna want to get a niskin here. Okay, you can leave the arm right there. Halted, okay. and I'll take the niskin. Halted. Hey everyone, that's I'm gonna, gonna be Niskin four, Niskin four. Niskin four, Niskin four. Thanks for letting me get that rock. Yeah, you bet. Nice job. Thanks. <laughs> everyone, I'm thinking of doing some filming uh, in the van after my dinner relief. Um, so, just a heads up to everyone. I'm gonna be doing some filming. This uh, so you want me to put on my mostly the swag? back row. That would be great. Okay. Okay, Niskin is triggered. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. Shall we continue moving? Yes, please. Let's try to get to the summit. Wow, just about at a thousand meters, just above. Yes. Low. just joining us we are working our way up the last leg of our uh, traverse up Nootka Seamount. This is our second day on Nootka Seamount. Um, this is a, a shallower water dive. We're now at about a thousand meters. We're going to work our way up to 900 meters and then pull the ROVs back up on deck. And we walked in just as a rock sample was collected. We're collecting those rock samples, both for uh, our geologist, who is interested in the history of these seamounts, how they were formed, when they were formed, and also uh, to sample the bacteria that are coating these rocks and figure out how the the coating and the bacteria may interact. We've been seeing a lot of fish today. What's dropping through the water column there? It's gone. Thank you, Venus. We have a novelist watching us today who's learning about a uh, spaceship bridge and how that works from listening to our interactions with uh, the ship's bridge. Spaceship bridge. Like, a, like 
the way our, not like a bridge you drive over. Right. Oh, the, where the captain sits. Command and control. Steve, what kind of uh, stuff have you guys seen in the last hour? Yeah, Steve. <laughs> we saw some really cool C pens that were Yeah, junky. different C pens. I can pull up the photo in the guide for That's you because cool. I have a hard time pronouncing <laughs> it. Nope, wrong one. I've got so many windows open. Hold on, folks. Stay tuned. Oh. C pens. Were they like a dark red color? Yeah, but very frondy. Is that a word? Yeah. This guy. It is now. Anthopitilidae. Oh. Ah, okay. Cool. That is really. Is that pretty. what it was? With? It's no, very brushy. we were calling it this Pinatula. So that is the. We're still passing those family purple crinoids with a little bit of orange. I know on it's them. data, but I don't have a those data button. Really yeah, so many of those purple crinoids. So I just tried to see if it was on the other screens. Oh, for your watch too, okay? Because we saw a bunch toward the last at least hour of ours. Oh, so did you? Uh, That's some sort of a rock pen or something too. After we got off. Anything else that y'all saw? We saw a fish with a parasitic isopod, which was fun. Yeah, we saw the yellow brick road, actually. <laughs> we saw the yellow brick road nice. down here at hey. a thousand meters below the surface. We just hit 999 meters depth. Woo woo! So it's like a highly altered brick road. Is that what that? <laughs> Did you happen to see that, Val, when we passed over the brick road? Uh, I don't think so. I was uh, staring through a camera at some rocks. Yeah. Oh, lab. there's another mercurid type fish. Trying That's mostly, it was weird, we saw a ton of halosaurs, and then as we got a little higher, it almost, almost all was these uh, oh. mercurids, mm -hmm. although I know there's probably multiple species. With those quite <laughs> bulbous heads. <laughs> so we a Look at all the holes in the rock, too, like bloop, bloop. Yeah, loop, loop, loop. I don't know what that is. I don't, yeah. Is that from trapped air pockets? I'm not sure. Oh, Maybe. It's very distinctive, though. I feel like we Gonna haven't it seen, seen it before. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what would have formed that. It's just been no in idea. the last, like, 10 minutes or so. Yeah. Once we came past the yellow brick road. Huh. Neat. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead, come mine, please. Is that a an enemy? Yeah. yeah. The Venus fly trap kind of one. It looks a little less folded up than some of the other ones we were seeing earlier. Yeah. So the little uh, insect-like floaties we get are mostly marine snow and some small organisms. Occasionally a little baby jellyfish will fly by, but most of it is pieces of organism that are coming down from the surface. It feels like there's a lot of detritus in the water here. Yeah, we've been, we're noticing that later in the last watch too, where um, there's a lot more marine snow and when we're a little bit off bottom. Right. Thank you. Uh, the water's Bridge, this here. is Nav. Little fish right there. Yeah. Can we have a move bearing 275? 50 meters. And 275. So, well, we had someone asking about what you were finding in yesterday's rocks. I know you were just cutting them up. Have you uh, gotten a good feel for them yet? Sort of. I'm just starting to get those descriptions written up along with uh, some of the ones from Argonaut because, uh, yeah, yesterday ended up really busy for some reason. And, uh, I, I fell a little bit behind on the rock cutting, uh, which I caught up today. Um, yeah, yesterday's dive, we picked up a few things. Um, the rocks, uh, for the most part, do have those really thick manganese crusts we were seeing, although the stuff that was uh, anything that we could actually pick up um, did have some thinner manganese crusts, but it just is a testament to, you know, 
these rocks are very, almost certainly, uh, probably um, Cretaceous in age, like we were suspecting. Um, it's very hard to get manganese crust that thick um, faster than tens of millions of years. And uh, we found what looked like some uh, remarkably well-preserved uh, basalts, but I don't see the clinopyroxene anymore that we we're seeing on the western arm. So that's pretty cool. Um, we also had a rock that was an absolute beast to cut. Uh, Justin estimates we spent about 20 minutes getting it cut open before we ha we finally just had to chisel it the rest of the way. Oh. Yeah. And um, that one looks like a highly like silicified and like recrystallized uh, volcanic breccia um, that potentially has some uh, mineralization in it. So like some, it looks like there's uh, maybe some teeny tiny little bits of sulfide. Uh, minerals in there, which would uh, make that probably something that was um, originally part of or very close to an old volcanic hydrothermal system. So I'm going to look up more about where we got that rock from because uh, I've been going through so many rocks that I don't remember the exact details about that sample. So, but we have all that logged. So yeah, yesterday. Um, look at the Atalanta cam real quick. Oh yeah. That looks awesome. Yesterday we managed to get some really cool rocks, and uh, that's been pretty much every dive has has been bringing up something, up a lot of things that are geologically uh, pretty exciting for us. Is that a little star sitting there on the oh, point yeah. on the right? Yeah, little ravioli star that. Oh, oh a ravioli! ravioli. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's so perfectly sorry. okay. We're it's it's dinner relief. Yeah, look at the holes in the rock. It's just. Do you think there are gophers down here? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the little game of whack-a-mole. Yeah. Did the tilt go all the way up? So you see it's that like sometimes? one of those lawn aerators just like went over the like. Oh yeah. Over the yeah. Surface and. Sometimes along shorelines, uh, you'll see some rocks with like little pits eroded in them where smaller pieces of rock have. Uh, uh, kind of gotten trapped and uh, slowly, along with the water, have moved around and kind of uh, dug out a pit. I don't know if that's the same thing that's happened here, but it is reminiscent of that. I, I do strongly suspect we're seeing a different uh, process forming these, though. Don't Look ask me what it is. Engine. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. They're so big here. They're massive. Oh my gosh! Look at that mushroom coral. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that is big, yeah. I don't think that would fit in the bio box. It'd be a really nice bouquet, though, for, like, <laughs> coming up. You know what I mean? It would be. It'd be like a gift to Mark on the deck. Here you go. I don't know. Maybe Thank the first you for all the big rocks. Oh, Ooh. check this out. Ooh. Oh. What do we have? What is that? It's a fish. Definitely a fish. <laughs> that is a big fish. Go ahead and fish out of there a bit, please. I think all of us had a moment of octopus. Yeah, the way it was kind of, the moment. tail was folded back. Yeah. Uh, these guys, okay. It's been a little while. Let me see if I can. That is a chunky fish. Yeah, that's a cool one. Yeah. I got to look to the guide again on that. Oh, he's pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't think it's quite this one. Maybe. All right. I'll let him exit the screen. That uh, line of dots <laughs> across the fish's uh, side. Uh, shows where the lateral line right, is. Full wide, please. Fish can actually detect water movement. They have some sensors in a little tube that runs along their side. Oh wow! Nice, uh, nice cinematic work there uh, between the uh, pilot and video team. Yeah, nice fly. Yeah, we still Steve. got Steven over there. Yep, still oh, here. Oh yeah, team hard no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It looks a little bit like a Bacididae in the ID guides, but I'm not I'm not feeling real confident. What about, about that. this guy, Justin? That looks better. That looks better. Oh yeah, it's got those uh spots along its back. Uh, line oh, of white oh, spots. That's, that's, the, that's the same one I'm looking at, just oh. a different uh, shot. That's funny. <laughs> <high. laughs> yeah. Hey, independent Such verification, cool that is always a plus. We like that in science. Yeah. These holes are getting more frequent here. Yeah. yeah. You know, it also reminds it's me of karsting <coughs> that you get in limestones. Shall I give another move? Yeah. Yes, please. Oh. So what forms that? Bridge, this is nav. Another move, same step. Uh, 
Um, so karsting and limestones can form uh, where you get like little cavern formation by, uh, uh, again, water moving through the rock, dissolves out little bits of it. You get like Geo micro karst. Today. Sorry, our fur hat. Oh no, sponge. another hat beard. Yeah. Yeah. No hat beards. No, we're not collecting a fur I hat know. beard. But, uh, no, we don't need to. Go back to limestone. I just had to point that out. Good, I do a partial. Yeah, I thought you guys piece. found one earlier. We did. We found two. So did this you is our third. First? <laughs> this is not a scratch and sniff camera. Thank goodness. <laughs> Gratefully, <laughs> thankfully. Oh, uh -huh. wait, please. It's the Geodidae. Geodidae, yeah. yeah. If I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, so, um, yeah, with the limestones, you can get micro karsts, which okay. are probably around the size, a little bit smaller. Sometimes you get karsting that happens on a bigger scale, and that's uh, the kind of thing that does eventually develop into a cave system. In Karst. some cases, yeah. C A R K A R S T. Karst. Okay. Yeah. Again, I don't think that's the process that's forming these. It's just um. It's just similar. Parallel appearance. Yeah. It is very distinctive. It is. <coughs> I can throw that into the geology chat and see if one of our um. Oh, that would be cool. Manganese I'm very curious about would have this. An answer. There was a holotherian we just passed. Oh, oh and actually, there's another fur hat. Someone else. Uh, Geo today. Oh, yeah. And bubble? another. After and that. another. Okay. It's you. just a field of them. Can you imagine how terrible it smells? Interesting. <laughs> they reach about. It seems I'm like kidding. they're like two meters <laughs> apart in a line. Here's another. Yeah. One. Exactly. Well, there'll be another. Or I have actually no d sense of depth, so it could be <laughs> different distance. I had a question about uh, how many uh, messages we get in the chat, or how uh, how fast we mm -hmm. get them. Um, since I came on, we've had about two screens worth, and that was only 15 minutes ago. So wow, thanks for fielding questions over there. So a lot yes. of them are more comments than questions, and mm -hmm. please. Uh, know that I share as many as I can, but uh, can't do them that fast. So and we also have to yeah. do some science up here. So sometimes I sit in radio silence for a bit. It's you like, have a busy job. It's like uh, at a conference or when you give a talk. Sometimes somebody, at, once you get to the end of the, uh, your presentation and you're uh, you ask for questions, every now and again you get somebody who uh, puts their hand up and they're like, you know. I kind of have more of a comment than a question. <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, this is about to get interesting. <laughs> uh, how hard is the rock that we're seeing? Uh, we have poked at it a couple different times on our That's watch. Cool. Thank you. Nice. And we just collected a sample that seemed firm. But we have passed over a lot of these Whoa. very sedimented haleoclastite. Haleoclast. Well, uh, hyaloclastite. Hyaloclast. I'm gonna get this word by the end of this cruise. Mm -hmm. I'm right there with you, Diane. It's <laughs> it's a mouthful. Another what looks like resinged sea star. Yeah. And the, so many of these geodidae sponges. It's like a field of them. Yeah, really, all of a sudden, huh? Or have you been seeing them? Uh, right after shift change, I guess. Started seeing quite a few of them. And normally they don't Talibur, smell, yeah. but we tried to dry one out, and it was just a little too thick to dry it out. So um, that was the smell. Mr. Shrimp. Yeah. Oh. I was hanging out with the smell out on the back deck while I was cutting rocks. I know. <laughs> Thank you for that. We did take some DNA sample, um, so there is some that is preserved, but um, the yeah. drying part. I I don't blame you. Some of them are some of those sponges are difficult to work with. That one is fairly thick. Yeah, I was on a uh, shallow coral sampling expedition some years ago uh, kind of did like the overnight shift like helping uh, plan out 
and execute uh, mapping routes to get some new bathymetry in the areas where we were working. And uh, every now and again in the evenings after the ROV came up, I would uh, occasionally pitch in and uh, uh, help scrub out the, the coral samples. And they get these uh, these sponges that would grow inside of them. And huh. that wasn't even like sponges that we were drying yeah. out, but just like once you started scrubbing them out, they just had this really strange smell to them. And it was just like sensory overload. At least for me. Oh yeah. Gosh, Just couldn't do it. So the primnoid sample that we took last night, it was a unknown species of primnoid. But as soon as we got it into the lab, people kept saying, like, oh, it smells like cucumber in here. And oh, sure really? enough, we all, like, about 12 of us individually sniffed this primnoid. And sure enough, it was, like, cucumber, very distinctly cucumber smelling. Hmm. I may not have been in the lab anymore at that room. point, or just distracted. Yes, Bridge, this is Nav. By Cool Rocks, perhaps. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go turn the mic uh, over to Beth. Can we have a move go eat. bearing 275, 50 meters? Thank you. Very, very fishy today. Yeah, we've seen quite a few fish. It's a question about microplastics and whether we find them in our samples. Um, pretty much at this point, microplastics are everywhere. They found them at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, and if they're getting that that deep, it's probably uh, not going to be much of the ocean where you won't be able to find them at all. Yeah. Um, Annabelle's back, so I'm signing off and handing it over. Where we are, Thanks, there's some Justin. major ocean currents that carry things this way, and so... Um, even though no fishing is allowed in uh, the monument here, uh, we've been seeing a lot of debris, fishing gear and some other stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, we saw some netting not too long ago. Not a large piece, but yeah. a little piece. See netting and rope and a wine bottle the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, screw top, so it was pretty fresh. Yeah, please, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Question, uh, what would it cost to get a rock sample? See ya. Um, for us, uh, I've heard somewhere on the order of $70,000 a day to keep our expedition running. Um, Sorry? I don't know how much a single rock oh, sample yeah. would, <laughs> would cost. But we bring up a handful every time. Good. Thank you. We got a hello from Daisy the dog who wants to know if we've ever come across a sneaky sea snake. This isn't quite the depth. Can we get a still of all these crinoids here? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, sure thing. One, two, three, four, five, Do you want lasers on off for it or off? Lasers are fine. Hi, thank you. Gonna do a partial zoom there, please, Rick? Mm. Little constellation. Yeah. Thank you. Pull away, please. We do see snake stars at this depth, often wrapped in with the coral. Where do we have people joining us from, Chris? Good question. I mean, We've got folks in uh, Australia, Asia, Europe, across the United States. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like nine countries at the moment. Okay. Wow. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Yeah. We are 
approaching the summit, the northern summit of Nootka Sima, which is the shallowest, I believe, we've come on this expedition so far. Oh, what happened to this? It looks like the clip to Gorgia fell yeah, over. Yeah, it fell over. Wonder what the is the current strong here? There's another one laying down up above. What's yeah, there's a current. Hmm. Maybe it's attached. Go ahead and push on in there a bit, please. What'd you call them again? Calyptogorgia. Calyptogorgia. I misheard you. I thought you said a flyptogorgia and I thought you were making a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was an awesome joke, yeah. <laughs> Very cool I, yeah, could, um, Jess, can we potentially come off stick just to see how the current is moving us? Yeah, sure. I am off stick now. And what's your heading? And I'll maintain a stable heading now. We're moving pretty much down and to the right. So we're moving to the north. Down and to the right, okay. Interesting, our current was pushing us from the north earlier further down slope. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep heading to the summit. Oh, fish. Another one. Oh, different than what we've been seeing. And what have you been seeing while we were on dinner? Uh, another we type of fish. <laughs> Go ahead and push on it, <laughs> shell, please. And... Sorry. All right, full wide, please. I'll get out ahead. Excuse Roger. me, buddy. Is that a ghost back there? <laughs> it looks like one. It really does, like a marshmallow ghost. Yeah. <laughs> so I only have the data for folks that are tuning in directly at non Nautilus Live. People are going through the YouTube channel. I don't get those demographics, so. Mm. It's very possible that Can we have. Can we zoom on that fish, checking out the hole in the ground? Sure. Go ahead and push on in there, please. Thank you. Yeah, full wide. It just me or the, is the whole size getting bigger as well? It's becoming more pronounced, I believe. So it used to look like the size of a the holes in a bowling ball or something. No, they're like hand sized. Do we have lasers on? Yeah, they're there. Come on. Yeah, so they're like ten centimeters. Yeah. We're at 952 meters, just. Home. Can you pivot to the left? Sure. The that ground could. looks weird, like a weird depression. Yeah, it seems like some of this has been like um, collapsed or something. Collapsed, yeah. Well, that looks like a difference in the flow pattern. So we. I'm gonna go okay. back ahead. I have a question about uh, water pressure. Does it, the high water pressure in the deep sea cause the fish that live here to have certain features? I think so. I think a lot of them don't have swim bladders, if that's correct, or air-filled swim bladders. They might have other Adaptations. I think that's the one that I hurt here most, most commonly. It also seems that a lot, a lot of the fish that we see are uh, eel type fish, instead of Two bony zero. fish with fins in the back. Oh no, you're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Beth, so here's more of that, like, change in the landscape, hey? Looks like a fracture or something. Yep, yep, looks like it fell apart. Although in the pieces you see, you don't see the, oh. the holy texture. So That's it's almost cool. like that came later. 
I don't know. That's a very good point. Let's see if it's above us. Yeah, it's above us. Do we just see some fish? Right, you want to do a partial <laughs> We saw several please? fish. Oh. That's great. It's a wonder. People were wondering what type. I was like, I don't know. Is that dinner? So that's, is that, I don't actually know what that is. What the are you altered, looking at? The Sorry? highly altered rock there? Oh, yeah. This is what Val was discussing earlier, that she thinks it's a volcanoclastic sediment. So it, we're not looking at, like, original igneous materials here. Um, the black stuff is probably manganese crust that have formed over top of this yellowish brown um, volcanoclastic sediment. All right, you can pull wide, please. Thank you. And what causes this Swiss cheese texture in the crust uh, is unknown to me because I have not seen it before. Still got shrimp. We've had shrimp the whole dive. Mm -hmm. Shrimp and fish. And another fish. We have a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> got dinner on the mind, do you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> so here's one of those geodidae sponges over here mm. that smell awful. Yeah. <laughs> and still a lot of these purple crinoids attached different places and the ever-present trip. What's our distance to waypoint nine, Lynette? Lynette, I don't think you're on SPL. Sorry, um, about 185 meters. Okay. Can we get a partial on this hole? Is it just sediment down there or is it actually a sponge in there? That's sediment, but yeah, we can go. Yeah, I think it's just sediment with a shadow. Yep, just sediment with a shadow. Okay. Okay. You answer that question. And a shrimp hangout, like five. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Six, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Would a shrimp hangout spot be considered a cocktail? <laughs> Good oh. one. Okay, I'll stop. That's <laughs> no, don't, don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> Please. It's interesting here. There's you like can stolen see infra here. If you get oh a partial yeah. zoom on that. Uh, sure. Looks Sorry. like. Go oh, ahead, I was going to say it looks like there's a lot more like solid rock underneath and that Good Swiss cheese there, stuff is like a layer on top. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like you can almost like peel it back. Yeah. Like the top layer. Yeah, once we summit, we might Good. start poking around a little bit. Wide, please. You can just look down these textures real quick. They're kind of cool. Yeah, it really does look like a, a cage on top or something like yeah. that. Alright. It's like a mineral Pull mesh. Wide, Is that a slime star there? Ooh. Or a sponge. Okay. It might be a sponge. See you. I'm getting sponge vibes from this, from sponge this vibes. angle. Go ahead and push on in there, please. It's a ribbon sponge. Little sponge. Fossil yeah. astra. Full wide, please. All right. Switch now. Thanks, Jess. Yeah. No worries. For the viewer wondering which way the control, control van faces, we face the front of the ship. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you're wondering. What do we know about ribbon sponges, Layla? 
Oh, I do not know much about ribbon sponges. Okay. <laughs> or why that's their morphology. Um, someone's wondering, can they get a brief explanation of what manganese crust is and why it's interesting or how it forms? What? Um, in question. general, ferromanganese crusts are um, layers of minerals that precipitate out of the water over long periods of time. Uh, they predominantly contain iron and manganese. Um, as well as many other mineral forms. And they're of interest because they can tell you something about the chemical conditions of the ocean and when they formed. If they have high critical mineral content, they might be of interest for, um, as a resource type for metals and other critical minerals. Those are some of the reasons they're interesting. Yep, yep, yep. So in general, the ship is always in front of the ROVs, like they always should be trailing behind, or is there ever a situation where they don't trail behind the ship? Uh, I don't think they always have to be aft mm -hmm. of the ship. It's hard to move Atalanta ahead of the ship. Mm -hmm. The ship drags Atalanta around. Herx tries to be out in front of Atalanta, but Atalanta gets dragged around by the ship. Sometimes the current will push the vehicles maybe more under the ship, beside the ship, mm. um, something like that. But if there's not much current, uh, yeah, they just sort of get dragged around. Also probably depends a bit on how deep we are, too, mm. Mm. how much cable's mm -hmm. in the water. Fuzzy hat sponge. Oh. Looks like a buckeye. Can I get a reset, please? <laughs> Definitely does. Oh, another ROV question. Um, wondering if Herc has two arms and when would we use the left arm? Um, from what I've learned since I've been on the ship is that the non-predator arm can sort of be like a stabilizer arm. We had a partial arm. zoom on here. Yeah. So arm that can hold things, but like um, they might have an example they can give you from maybe when they've used it in the past. I don't know. Up there. Go ahead. Wow, look at how much stuff mm -hmm. is in the water. Great. Nice little tube anemone there. Tube. Thanks, you can come out. What is that whiskery thing? Yeah. An urchin. A sea urchin. Oh. Oh. It looks like a granddaddy long leg. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like it. <laughs> there goes another shrimp. Granddaddy. <laughs> granddaddy. Granddaddy. <laughs> granddaddy. <laughs> I've never heard that before. I like That's that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call them down in Atlanta. <laughs> I see daddy long legs, but I like granddaddy it's long correct. legs. That's literally since I was like a child. It's That's granddaddy so long funny. leg. <laughs> Lila, do you know what kind of fish this is? We've seen it multiple times. Yeah. Brett, can you zoom in slowly, please? They're macrurids. Macrurids. Yeah. They have Cororids. rather large heads. Macrurra? Is it swimming? Wait, what? Whoop, bye. It was vertical, for, I feel like, or maybe it Thanks, was angle. Thanks, you Man, these crinoids are everywhere. This is their spot. Look at the jelly in Atlanta. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Cool. Come to me. <laughs> <laughs> Entertain Ashton. <laughs> Can I put lights on that thing? <laughs> nope. Nope. No. <laughs> no such luck. Well, nope. nice big Primnoid fans. Yeah. Pluck swords or Acanthagorgia. I think those are Cal Caligorgia Primnoids. Yeah, Caligorgia with a giant hold fast. 
And still some more of those geodididae sponges. It's a really cool boulder. Yeah, it is. that one almost yeah. looks like a spider web. That one it totally does. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, those are big, geodid sponges. Yeah. Oh. Leela, you're the underwater fungi expert, right? Uh -huh. I wouldn't fungi? say expert. <laughs> <laughs> I just study them. Yeah. What's up? Do you? Is there like an aquatic mycelium or equivalent to mycelium, like that web network that mushrooms Yeah, have, so they, a lot of the filamentous fungi will still have mycelia. Yeah. And hyphae. Do you ever see it down here? Like, is it um, ever exposed? Not that like I the know spider of. webby stuff? I've never seen, like, a, a filamentous fungi that you can actually see with your with your eyes. Interesting. It's a giant anemone there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Healthy. 15 centimeters, 20 centimeters across. I Ooh. love these pom-pom anemones. I know. Nature's asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> Some more geodididae. So is one of the main differences between the tube anemones and the pom-pom anemone, I sound like Finding Nemo, um, anemones um, <laughs> is that the tube ones have like longer appendages or tentacles or, because I feel like the pom-pom ones look a little bit more stubby. I don't know if the lipanema fall under, if the pom-poms mm. fall under tube designation or not. Mm. Um, I'm going to try and figure that out. What's the largest mammal we've encountered on a dive? I don't think we've mammal? seen mammal. Mammal? I don't think we have seen. I don't think we've seen yeah. mammals. We, we saw a whale shark the other day. That's okay. not a whale. Yeah. Not a mammal. There's so, little baby Geo did a day there. <gasps> Look at that. You're gonna grow <laughs> big and strong like your cousins. Yeah. <laughs> and super smelly. <laughs> and super smelly. So we're almost to the summit. We've got maybe, what, 20 more meters to go? No, 50 more meters to go? Yeah. 87 more meters to go. Oh, more longer, meters. longer than we thought. Dang. And that's lateral. We still have to get vertical. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. One of these gradient oh. sea stars. Oh, I was just about to say. Yep. This is the most of these fuzzy hat sponges I've that we've ever, seen. <laughs> ever seen. They're definitely just in a lot of places for sure. Yeah. Geodidae. Another yeah. one of the purple crinoids. Oh. Yeah, they those are have been everywhere. Literally everywhere. Like. And they're all the same color. I feel like we were maybe seeing a little bit of variation, yeah. right, on some With of the, the other dives. And, and these the are like all purple, like all yeah. of them. Yeah, I wonder if there's wow. an association of the purple ones with this sediment type because yeah. it's different. That would be a good question, for sure. Check out this chunky feature up on top. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. It's very, like, bulbous and crinoids. And Can we get a partial on this, this here? This rock structure is just amazing. A couple different colors yeah. there. Jamming on the brakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Herc brakes. Pretty good momentum here. Uh, okay, right, you can go in there. Hmm. It's like on on hydroids so on hydroids. <laughs> <laughs> Holy There's moly. There's so much going on there. Yeah. Oh. With an anatomy, maybe? Where is the oh, actual coral? coral? I don't There's know what I'm momentum. seeing. I, there's a sea star, at least, nominal <laughs> way. What are those little purple Maybe, bits? <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> There's some barnacles up here. There is a Ooh. lot going on in like Our this snails. whole area. Just a beard hat. Can you push in a bit more, please? Is that a sponge in the background? That white? In the, or yeah, is that there's a ribbon else? sponge way in the background. 
There's some polyps down this. here. Yeah, you're right. There's a geodididae in the background. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. Geodidae. But yeah, the coral. I think there's also an anemone up there. And of course, squat lobsters. Or is that just... Yeah, is yeah. that an anemone on You know the a coral? shrimp is going to pop into view any Where's minute. Where's my shrimp at? <laughs> 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 okay, come wide slow, please. Yep. You can default to slow always. Sure. All right, playing a little catch up here. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm. I flinched. Want me to hold off on a ship move? Keep going. Yeah, I, I would say hold off, Lynette, because okay. once we get up to the top, um, we might. I'm not sure if we're gonna swing down or. Can you zoom out a little bit on high pack, sure. actually? Oh, look at that crack. Yeah. I want to go up there. Is it a crack or is it like a, a ledge. level change? Yeah, like it's a, a crack. Ledge. Really? Look at it, Oh, Eric. it's a crack. Let's is that a chunk of cops back here? Oh, oh it could be. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Let's yeah. get a zoom. I heard that the last shift saw a juvenile. Can you zoom that on the China cups, please? Really? Yeah. Yeah, we. Yeah, perfect. This is the same size. Oh my goodness. So oh. there's a slightly different color. Wow. And it's a different color. I haven't seen this color. Look, Look at his at little it. boots. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, and his little legs. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. This is so cool. It, it looks like they were some whiskey. <laughs> I know. Oh my god, it looks like little ankles going into little boobs. Yes, you guys. Oh my okay. yeah. Everybody Lally's loves me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave him alone. I'm yep. Gonna disturb him. You can come out. Please. Incredible. What a weird angle for an ambush predator. <laughs> Sneaking up on the rock, yeah. Predators sleep too. So juveniles are that color, and then. I, I uh, actually don't know. If they I don't know, the but this is what I was told. We were calling them baby chana cops. I don't know if they're technically <laughs> juvenile chana cops. Nice fish in there. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. at that. And Whoa. What, is, what is that? Wow. Oh. Sea urchin. Oh. It's the granddaddy long leg along of the sea. Yeah. Ugh. It just continues. I feel like it's like confetti <laughs> got thrown over a rock. Oh. And I There's a lot going on in this take it all in. structure. Yeah, wow. And it almost goes, oh, I was, looked like it was going due west, but now it's changed orientation. Ooh, hello, corals. Wow. Big sea star. Oh, someone's saying it maybe was a frogfish? I don't know. What's that? That same thing? Some fuzzy hat sponges in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, that's weird. Another fish? The big sponge coming up. Where are our shrimps? There's one given <laughs> in the Metallogorgia. They're never too far away. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Geodidae. All right, I'm going to bail out like of this crack. Okay. Look okay. at this big sponge. Uh, goodbye, crack. Ooh, it was very interesting. Um, so, Lynette, are we hanging steady or what are we doing? Uh, correct. We okay. are done with our move. Okay. Well, that sponge is a little less Yeah. interesting. So maybe I'll go back to the crack. <laughs> um, how right far way. do you think you can keep going uh, if we want to follow this? Do we need to get the ships it's to follow us? Uh, no, no, we got some. We got some scope. Sorry. Okay, it's a fish. You want to see the fish. extent of the crack, or what are you thinking? Yeah, keep going with the yeah, crack. Yeah, let's follow it. Follow oh no! It. Now we got two cracks to choose from. That oh. one's a fake, fake you out <laughs> trick crack. Look at all those fuzzy hats down there. <laughs> Beautiful. Ooh, black coral on our right. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the and pink fans, fans, maybe. Remind me the pink fans that we were seeing. Which ones? Fish down there. Oh, we just passed past oh a bunch. Way down there. Whoa. Is wow. there a better name than crack for this kind of geological feature? <laughs> no. Fissure. I don't know. 
Yeah, maybe Fisher. Oh, that sounds. Yeah. That, Fisher sounds good. That, yeah. sounds, <laughs> that sounds more professional, more correct. More professional. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds more correct. Pass in Caligorgia. And like, whoa, that is a huge fuzzy hat sponge up there. <laughs> They right. are everywhere. This oh. is this is their sweet spot, man. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh man. These, Let's this is their collect sweet that spot. one and just keep it in the wet lab. <laughs> yeah. Please, Please not. Please. Or not. Maybe in the <laughs> RV <not>. hangar. Maybe in Diane's room. Could Diane's room is my room. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hard no. Yeah. Hard right. Hard no. no. Okay. Oh yeah. You guys are connected to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I disagree. Never wow, mind. look at the size of that fan. That's wow. basket star mm. on there. We haven't Aww. seen many of those. I'm going to paint the base with the lasers. Yeah, that is yeah. a basket star. Can we get a close up of the basket star? Yeah, no problem. Looks intense. It looks very big. Okay, Rick, go ahead. Can you turn on porch light, please, Ashton? Yes, sir. Oh, porch yeah. light. Wow. Oh, that's that's really helpful. Thank that's, you. Yeah. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to see the other side, but that's all right. Oh, what? Come on. Of the br of the basket star. It's Maybe. probably in, uh, occluded. Has little cup corals on the rock behind, or? Let's see if it's occluded. Secluded by itself. Yeah. Oh, I'm at the end of my leash now. I wonder what's Ooh, making hello. this spot so Whoa. breezy. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So great for everybody. Like it's so. Come dense. wide, please. Yeah. Don't know. Well, uh, whatever you. direction currents come from, they're gonna rush up to this yeah. summit. Yeah. I can do a little bit more fissure exploration, and then we'll have to go a different trajectory. Okay. Um, let's Probably maybe five, come ten meters. Um, due south towards the ship. Roger that. As you start running towards the end of your leash. Yeah. I'm going to pull you off, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Another, Another Chana Chana Ops. Ops. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, maybe we call this the end of the crack. Oh, no, it continues. Uh, no. Who was this? <laughs> still going. <laughs> uh, that's the end of the line. Whoa, is that rope? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, okay, oh let's no. log that marine. It's a great time to turn around. Wait, <laughs> what's up there? Nope. It's a what are all piece. those lines? Can you nope. drop a target that says yeah, that so that if we ever come back here, we know that it's there? That's a really long piece nope, nope, nope. of rope. See ya. Yikes. Okay. Ooh, it goes up. Pretty good up that side too. Let's just uh, not go that way. Yeah, we're not going that way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to go south, you say? Yeah, I did say I want to go south. Okay, let's I'm go south. I'm glad I picked south. South is a great way. Hey, what do you want this target called? It's danger line. Danger <laughs> line. Danger line. <laughs> Thanks. Southward, here we go. Okay, do you want a ship's move south? I don't know that we need a ship's move yet. Maybe just bring Herc back under the ship okay. and then Roger we'll figure that, that out. Um, while you're doing this, Trevor, mm -hmm. um, what do you think about um, shark. going neutral a little bit? Oh, yeah, there is a shark and shark. a fish and a fish. Shark fish. Um, yeah, I can stop right here. How about? Yeah, stop just oh, so we can see which way the current else? is pushing yeah. us okay, let me, as uh, we're kind of at the top of this. Stable first. Yeah, I think it's either this or yeah. this. I'm going to put an auto heading. Oh, more rope so ahead of us. Not going to go that way. Instead of And the current's of pushing us left to right. Oh. No, it looks different, yeah. Right? It looks a little different. So, so we almost reached our southern extent. Oh, yeah, it does look kind of yeah, like that one. Yeah, it looks like, like that one. This one or oh, yeah, maybe this one. I pulled. So this is the only picture I can get of this one, but. This one, it has those little flow. Yeah, there's another one right there. A little whatever this Chanakops looking thing is, but it might yeah. not be Chanakops. Yeah. All right, yeah. stop in the dead yeah. stick now. So okay. saying that it may be something else. Danger line. I think but it's so uh, oh. we're pointing southwest. Sorry. And yep. which way are we moving? Oh, wow, the line's right in front of us again. Oh, my goodness. 
What did I do? Where did it go? Can you drop another waypoint? Just uh, maybe five, ten meters in front yeah, of me? Yeah, a lot of people are saying it's not ton of cops. So it might be this guy. Yeah, I think it's a low fitting. Yeah. Slade yeah, look, it has the little boots. Yep. Either Louie, was it spiky? Or is it pushing you a little bit to the southwest? I'm I'm off stick. Oh, okay. I'm back on the stick now. I I see. Lost my little I let it float for a bit, and then I got back on it. You can still see the line. Wow. Goes far. I'm gonna go more southeast rather than south. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> what are you looking for? The end of the, this. Ah. Oh well, I'll find it later. Okay. Yeah. Thanks everybody saying that it's probably not a ton of cups. We are starting to also see there might be a relative, but not yeah. ton of cups. Another bony Low fish. Fide. But yeah. How do you? L O P H I I D A E. Lo Fide. Lo Fide. Lo Fide. Lo Fide. Yeah. But it has the little boots. The little. Yeah, it definitely has the boots. Um, white boots over the ankles Ankle that we boots. were describing, and like all of the Ankle spines fish. along its back. There's just so much to see here. There it's is. It's incredible. Okay, front row, I had an ROV question oh for you yeah, earlier. Sorry about Can I that. ask it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh. somebody was wondering about the non-predator arm of Hercules oh, yeah. and an example of maybe when you have used it because they have never really seen it be used before. Still lost um, the line there. Oh, the yeah. line's still going. <laughs> Holy. Wow. 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 That's wild. And it's like going down. Okay. It's a large That's a piece lot. of marine debris. Yeah. That's a really, yeah. We thought we were getting away. Um, I'll come back to that question. Where do you want to go yeah, now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, the line kind of screws with my plan a little bit. Yeah. What if we move the ship due south um, sure. and come back down? Well, I was just oh. looking due south Yep. Yep. Yeah, so what I was thinking is if we'll come down a little bit and then we might follow a contour back up to the east. Okay, roger. Um, kind of keep us away from this west side because we don't know where this line is going. Yeah, okay. Um, I, and I kind of want to come back to that holy cheese looking holy manganese cheese. crest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Swiss cheese. Yeah, Swiss cheese looking crest. Mm -hmm. Let's do just slightly east of south. So okay. Just okay. a little farther away from this thing. Yeah. Okay. Great. Sure. Uh, for the viewer wondering, that was low feet okay. day, we think. You want five zero meters? Low feet uh, let's start with three zero. Okay. Yeah, because we're going down slope. Spelled L O P H. Bridge nav. I I D A E. And then Lofide. Can we have Sledenia. three zero meters bearing one six zero, Lofide please? Sledenia. Thank you. Oh, I'll let you say that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks like Lofide Sledenia, but I don't know if it's a Ooh. Lofide Sledenia Zui or <laughs> Rem Yeager. <laughs> I feel, I feel, I'm feeling this. Maybe one, the Zui. Right? Yeah, so Z H U I. Yeah. Sorry, I've got runaway tilt sometimes. Uh. Got a pretty good sized ship roll sometimes. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Uh huh. Floaty. Yeah. Something floating. Are we staying away from the line to avoid entanglement? Oh, you bet you are. Yep. No, I'm talking. <laughs> 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 They're like, yep, we don't need to get stuck down here. That's actually a line on high pack. Let that drew it before we got there. So. The contour line. Ooh, what's that? What's oh. that thing? Sure, that's not a line. There we go. Just here. 
What? In the world? Just a little floaty. Oh. Is it a sea dandelion? Shedding sea dandelion stuff? It's a way to scare Trevor, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it looked a lot like a line. Yeah, yeah, that was, that like was, line. what was that? Ghost line. Ghost line, for sure. Is that a squid? It's a squid. Yay! More of those little squids. Yay! What are you? Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Ooh. What are Another you? Jelly. What are you? What's this? Can you zoom in on that, please, There's Red? so much stuff. <laughs> Is this... Oh. Uh, Whoa. Look at all I the stuff in the water. Do column. not know. That is so cool. What this is? It's a type of jelly, I think. Uh, or a Tina 4. Oh, no, those are the lasers flashing on it. It looks like that thing people used to sit on their desk. Right. It was like electricity. <laughs> you could touch. You know what I'm oh, you know yeah. what I'm You could put your hands on it, and all the electricity would like go to your fingers. That's what that oh looks my like. Gosh, there's so there's much fish. Oh, there. Tesla something. This is overwhelming. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that a lot of There is so much life down here. There's Can we get so a partial zoom out. on yeah, the line just to see what it is? Line at the same time. What is that large red fish? Ooh. Ooh, beautiful. It's giving me koi vibes, but I know that's not what it is. <laughs> it kind of looks grouper-like. It does, a little bit. OK, come wide, Ooh, please. Let's make sure we no. get a couple of stills of that. I did, yeah. Yeah, I did, too. Tell me if you guys want porch lights or lasers or anything adjusted at any any time while you're photographing. Now everything I look at looks like a line. I like, oh, that's yeah. a crack. No, OK. Yeah. Yeah, entanglement hazards are no good. Yep. We are staying away. So for all the viewers wondering why we are <laughs> Heading in the other direction, um, we want to avoid entanglement with Hercules as much as possible. So we do I not. I got a good video on my those. phone of the time I got a a falcon ROV hung up on some fishing gear. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's very rough. dicey. Sounds yep. stressful. Oh yeah. Oh, I've been part of an expedition that got a ROV attached to rope, attached to football floats, attached to oil rig. Oh my uh, gosh. Nice. Stuff around the deep water horizon. Oh, oh my gosh. So we were, we were anchored to the seafloor. That yeah. escalates oh at every no. step. Oh my gosh. Yeah. People are saying that red one may be some type of rock fish. Somebody else is saying snapper of some kind. I would have said that if it was on the west coast of the continental North America, but I don't know if I'd say that out here. Maybe they are out here. Yeah, I'm looking through. Diane, have you found an ID on that yet? I it haven't. I've been trying to describe this rock feature. Oh, okay. A bit. No um, idea. We're not sure what the line is. I know a lot of people are wondering. <laughs> At least I definitely don't know. If yeah, it's a derelict line of yeah, some variety. We of don't some know variety. what it is. Yeah, we don't, we don't know what it is. Is this what it looked like, or was it? No. It was a little it bit more bigger, speckled, right? and it was more red, okay. and it was bigger, yeah. So... Yeah, we might have to go back to pictures of it later. And yeah, because it was very quick. But so Pacific rockfish or Pacific snapper, maybe. Oh yeah, see. They come all the way out here, eh? I don't know. Oh. It was somewhat wow. similar. I don't know if that's what it is, but okay. definitely had that sort of like fish. speckled look going on. Yeah, it doesn't look like oh. it's in the guide. No, I think the other one was a little bigger, No, right? yeah, and this one's too pale. Yeah. You know, like it was really red, yeah. and that yeah. one's not red. Is it possible to pull up with the pictures you took? Uh, can I pull up the ones I took? It is. Hold on. You can stay there on Delta for now. Don't think. OK. I'm going to try and make my way back over. Roger. Can. Do you want to keep moving south no. or just see okay. where this short move takes us? Let's, yeah, let's. Uh, I want to come down like a 20 meters vertical. Okay, let's 
Okay. Yeah, you can do a ship move now. Yeah, I'll be there by the time you get there. Okay. What is that lower right? A sponge of some sort? Mm. Whoops, where'd it go? Yeah. Bridge nav. Cool. Can we move three zero meters bearing one six zero, please? The um spine looks a little similar. Huh. That is okay. a very long line. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Let me Google this. Yeah, the spine on the back looks a little similar. Here, do you want to show that to Beth? She pulled up the Are we still moving to point four? You want to look? Yeah. Uh, no. I don't know how I can... Do you want to be? I would Here, be, let let be moving to point uh, two. What are you doing? Okay. I don't know if I can make it any bigger. Bridge, nav. I can mirror it Can we here. adjust the Where speed to 0 0.2 knots, please? There you go. go. Thank you. Uh, Beth, this is the picture of what Shelby took. Why does it keep bringing me here? I want to see this picture. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a little bit like um, I had this one up. Where is it? Like a pink snapper. Definitely speckled. <laughs> Someone said orange roughy. I don't know. I don't know about this. What are you doing? Orange. There we go. It looked a little bit like this, but the this has more spines than. Oh, here, let me see. If I can be. Bring it back up. Yeah, the spines look like somewhat similar, but that they look yeah. a little bit more pronounced on this. Fish. Yeah, it's not that spiny. But yeah, it's just it's a little bit, but not. And the well, it might just be a bigger fish, like the. I can't see the fish. <laughs> Sorry. You can mirror my computer, and no, then you can see like it. The, it looks like this. Oh, hold on. Doesn't it look like this? Oh, look at that rock between no. us. Ah. Uh, yeah. In fact, I will. I will huh. look at the rock between us. <laughs> it's not quite the way we we're moving. We need a fish person. It actually does. I don't know. The spines. The spines on the back is the only but thing. But some of them, some of them look like they have more. Oh, well, it's not as high as I thought. And you see how the spines are a little white at the top on this fish? Yeah. Those are orangey. Yeah. Who knows? It will be a mystery. <laughs> some of them do look similar. They might be cousins or something. Yeah. Coming down. What time did you say we wanted to be off bottom? Uh, we should be off bottom at, I don't know, quarter two-ish. Okay. That's kind of a cool peek at the fissure from the Atalanta mm. Dam. Different it's, fissure. Oh, different fissure? Yeah. Gosh. There's... They're so long, too. They seem to just keep going. Yeah, totally. Anything's possible. <laughs> A little sea star there. Tiny sea star. More of those purple crinoids. Uh, 
Uh, for the viewer wondering when the next dive is, I think it's 12 p.m. Hawaii oh, time tomorrow. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. I don't know. No, it's, it's not 12? 4 a.m. We're coming up in about two hours, and then 16 hours after that, we will be back in the water. So in about 18 hours from now. So that puts us at about a noon launch. Yes. Noon launch. Bridge, nav. Can we have another step? Three zero meters, one six zero. Thank you. Um, actually, I don't know that we want a ship's move yet, Lynette, because we might want to try to sample some of this material before we need to come off bottom. Okay. Bridge, nav. Cancel that last move. Thank you. It's a cool little mini cavern. Yeah. Little fish there too. Mm -hmm. So Trevor, my interest is in trying to sample some of this holy Swiss cheese holy like cheese. Yeah, um, right. manganese crust. I'm not sure what the best strategy is. Manga cheese crust. Got it. Um, Yeah, there's not a lot. That looks like really pick upable. Not a lot pick upable, no. I'm also wondering just how delicate it is. Like, could we just also try, like, wh where there's a ledge of it, just try Break grabbing it. onto it and see what it feels like? Like right here, the sandy like patch. Right in there, yeah, exactly. Oops. So, for anyone watching, we're. Coming to the end of our dive here on Nootka Seamount, we made it up to the summit of the northern part of the seamount, but um, due to finding some rope of a line of some variety up there, which is an entanglement hazard, we came back off the summit. And uh, gonna try to get some samples before we leave. All right, let's zoom in on this guy while we're here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, zoom? making a move. It's delayed. There it goes. Oh, yes. oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, stylish, stylish. So what are these accessories? Nice. <laughs> it's the accessories for me. Can I get craft on bubble? <laughs> bubble on craft. Yes. That's great. Please. What is that? Uh, 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 I don't know. Hermit <laughs> crab? <laughs> okay, crab <laughs> with. I've seen those before. Stylish. I can't is, it back back is there a lamp? Is that what they call back. it, or is it different? Backpack. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if it's a zoanthid or not. Maybe. Ashton. Zoanthid. It's interesting to see this relationship on a really small crab, too. Yeah. Because yeah. I know we've been finding Maybe it so. on bigger ones. Yep. Right. All right, come wide, please. When you can't find a shell, <laughs> just pick a different kind of backpack. <laughs> By any means necessary. Oh. Hello, By fish. Any means Hello. necessary. <laughs> uh, so, do we want to try <laughs> here or here? I'm not picky. Not Do you want picky. porch light? Sure. Also All right, half zoom, please. Is the pink thing, the pink backpack is a zoanthid. Oh, oh, great. That's what I put in my highlight. Ooh. Good oh. job. Oops. Poor crab. Watch out, buddy. Go, 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 go. go. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Nice. Just a little more. Just, just keep yeah. going. He's okay. He's like, hold on, hold on. Just let me. <laughs> So, Give me a this second. piece obviously broke off <laughs> down here. Do you my want backpack's heavy. Can you pick it up so we can look at it? Yeah. Now, should I be fra should I be gentle with it in case no. I crush? Okay. No. This isn't our only Weir Weird chance. how that sediment moved. Do you see that? Yeah. 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 Hold on. Is that an okay Whoa, grab? something just <laughs> jam <laughs> jumped out of the rock. <laughs> That's okay, I guess. There's uh, a lot going on. Somebody saying that's a homo, homolidae crab? Homolidae crab. Can we get a little turn on that's that? That's definitely rock? your crest. Okay, you can turn that. Hmm, it's more reddish than the other crest we've picked up. Yep. Okay, where would you like this piece? Um, maybe just on the front porch for right now. Just on the porch. Yeah. Okay, come full wide, please. Um, I'd like to try to get a slightly bigger sample 
Can you come super duper extra double wide, please? For um, Thank you. for Val, because that one's pretty small. Roger. Okay. You okay? You can go back to normal zoom. Um, can we try to break off another chunk here? Yeah. Okay. See if we can get something a little bigger. All right. Zoom in, please. Let's stop there. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. Come out just a little bit. Good there. Oh yeah. Solid. Okay. Yeah. Stout. <laughs> little tiny crab down there. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, maybe we can hop up and see if there's another spot to take them full grab wide, something. please. Okay. All right, hopping. Hop destination remains unknown. What do you think about that ledge to the ledge? right? Yeah. If you can get in there. Okay, let's give it a go. Can I see Atlanta view, please? Yes, I'll try, and I've got, I've got a runaway tilt up on Roger. that. I put it in the red book. I can go out a little more on it too, if you want. No, I think it's okay. It just swings up sometimes. Sure thing. It's just the tilt, it's the hydraulics, I guess. I got you. Electric. Electric. Electric actuator. That's solid? Yeah, that's solid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> solid. Okay. Maybe we found the only piece. Well, let's try one more time. This piece is for Val or for you? Mm -hmm. Val, okay. That's well, no longer Swiss cheese there. For, um, actually primarily for the scientists that are studying ma ferromanganese crust, okay. the USGS, okay. I would imagine. Okay. But I'm sure Val will also be interested in it. Why? Roger. That was weird. Nice looking sponges over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this ledge still considered Swiss cheese? Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's um. It's pretty thick, though. I yeah, guess. it's pretty thick. Maybe we can try coming down a couple more meters. Roger that. Where we saw it is like a nice fractured pavement. I'm trying to stay a little high off bottom here. We could maybe try a ship's move back to the northeast where we know we went and saw it, but Northeast. it looks like we're kind of sure. coming it, coming into it again. Do you want to hold off on the ship move or do that? Uh, I don't know. How much leash do you think you have? I don't have a lot, but I can just do what I can, and then we can sh move if necessary. Yeah, let's go ahead and put in a ship's move. Okay. Northeast, I don't know how far that is. Maybe 20 meters. Do you want to get back meters? to our existing track? Yeah, over towards that area. Because we know we saw it there. 75 meters, Roger. We'll do, we'll do 30 for now. Bridge, nav. OK, 
can we move three zero meters bearing zero four five please thank you Everywhere now. Mm -hmm. Geo today. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. They're haunting us. <laughs> I feel like that. <laughs> oh, I was looking at the wrong track. Yeah, that is a bit further away to get back to Herc's track. I'm just kind of exploring around right now while we have the time. Yep. There's so much in the water here. Yeah. So many particles. Look at that. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Oops, bonk. I could try some of it like right underneath the lasers right now. Sure. But yeah. Or yeah, maybe over to the right here. I, I don't or know. Over by the shrimp to the left. Looked like a big hole that maybe you could grab into. I was looking at that. But any any of this material that we think we might be able to get the manips on. Yeah, I don't have high hopes, but I have high desire to try. Yeah, pretty much 0% chance here, but yep. you don't know until you try. Maybe even in some of this stuff that's more holy, but I don't know. Wow, okay. Oh. Hmm. Can I pick off a big piece now? Next question. Uh, hey, come back here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's moving a little bit. Right, if you want to come in a little bit on Atalanta, okay. I'm stable. Oh, that no. piece isn't. That piece is solid. On. Can you? What do you think about this piece over there, which was next to what you just crumbled? Yeah. You know, it's okay. A little bit. Yep. Crumply, but not. Fully sampleable. We'll keep moving. Okay. It's just such a strange pattern to me. Mm -hmm. It really is. Maybe something over here. Switching up with Steve. Roger. Thanks, Red. Thanks, Red. Thanks, Red. See you later. <laughs> Ooh. Mm-hmm. I have... Mm, maybe not. Where's our crowbar when we need yeah. it? <laughs> the crowbar is a shockingly ineffective tool for this. Oh, I could imagine it is. Like, you have no momentum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome Steven. back, Steve. Thanks for letting me stick camera in your face. <laughs> Shoo. We were acting natural. Good job. So <laughs> natural. So natural. Especially Whoa. when you Oh, look at that. Good work. Hmm. I, I, I might That's try one brittle. more. So that might not. Some parts of the it. The one anyway. on the left might be. Okay. This might be big enough? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll pick it up. Steve, can we come in on the Atalanta cam a bit, please? Nope. Oh, oh, thank you. That is too fragile. <laughs> oh, Some interesting. Areas are super it's crumbly. very crusty. Yeah. Like Other areas Oreo. aren't crumbly enough. <laughs> yeah, this one barely came apart, but also is too crumbly. So, <laughs> help me understand. 
<laughs> hmm. Oops, what? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. That came apart just from me pushing into it with the vehicle. So oh, by driving into it? Yeah, I wow. parked with some force ahead and just gave out. What about up here? I okay. can actually see through that one. I'm going to wham the arm here, I think. Wham. Oh, that's looking promising. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. I can grip force four. Yeah, that yeah, if yeah. You want. Just delicately try to pick it up. Oops. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Get some glam shots. Okay, nice. Steve, zoom in, please. Look at that. Give you the side wow. profile wow. first. Wow. Oh, cool. That's great. That's beautiful. And we'll flick it up into the lasers, maybe. How come out a little bit, please? Where's the lasers? Oh, it's smaller than 10 centimeters. That's okay. Okay, and do one more zoom in there, Steve, just for fun. And we do know what this is, or we're wondering what this was. Oh, this is a manganese, bare okay. manganese. Okay, crest. come wide. Okay. This is going forward or starboard? Starboard. Starboard Charlie. Floaties? Mm, one not terribly floaty. Okay. Yeah, there's well. a coral piece in A, right? Okay. There's that's not a bad. coral piece, but she said it wasn't super floaty. Yeah, no, it's Roger. a. Roger, can you switch my camera, please? Yes. On, uh, on the GUI. Sorry. Switch Niskin view to. Yes. To starboard bio box. Yeah. Yeah. Confirmer, we're going for Charlie on this. Charlie. You can zoom in on Atalanta. No, it's a nice shot on Atalanta. Yeah. Yeah. Let me try to get and you back. Yeah. Oh, you can really box. see the rock from a different Ooh. view. Look at that. A little bit. Standing by on box when you're ready. Will it be distracting to zoom in on her no, camera? No, go ahead on her, zoom okay. on her Zeus. Yeah. And you can open the box. Uh, okay, opening the box. I'm trying not to put, can you come out just a little bit, Steven? I wanted to see that rock a little bit. Yeah, thanks. All right, sample's been taken. Okay, you can come wide. Sorry Close about the box. that. Closing the box. Have we already talked about what we think the holes in this in this crust is? Yeah, even Val uh, took a look at it. Wasn't quite sure okay. what had created this. Okay, so. uh, anything else while we're here? Or should I take off? I am wondering, we didn't collect any DNA sample when we were up there at all. No, we did not. So Can we just zip back up? Yeah, if we want to zip back towards the summit where we saw those geodididae and all the other cool stuff. Roger that. And all the millions of things. All in that cool <laughs> fish. Um, cool fish. It was that. Cool fish. Fishes. That weird floating okay. jelly thing. We didn't know what it was. Can you please take your wrap out? Yes. And you can come up on Delta when you Coming do that. Come up and taking that wrap out. Like 23 maybe. Okay. Okay. Do you want to move back up toward the summit? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Just please keep me away from danger line. Yes. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing three three zero, please? Thank you. Ooh, I think everything's lined now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's alarming. That is a Chrysogorgia, the little spirally thing. Mm -hmm. 
sea star over yeah. there too. Looks like it's tucked in under a rock like it's asleep. <laughs> Pull up my little mayonnaise crust blanket. blanket. That's literally yeah. what that looked like. <laughs> so one last approach towards the summit again. Oh, and I guess I should probably lose that rock once we. Yeah, we don't need to keep that. Yeah. Ooh. What was our bearing there? Three three zero. Three three zero. Roger. Thank you. Ah, runaway tilt. Another fish coming into view. So many fish today. Mm -hmm. For the viewer wondering if we know if, what danger line is, if it's biological or man-made, uh, we didn't get a super close look at it, but um, it's not biological. I don't think yeah, it's, it's biological. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's man-made, yeah. Yeah, it's some kind of derelict line. Mm -hmm. The yellow Which corals, do we know? They're plexorids, I believe. That's a type of plexorid. <laughs> Not this one right in front of us, but the other ones. Yeah, the other ones that we've been seeing, yeah. Look at the terrain. Yeah. It's, I don't know if it's been worn away around those, like, bulbs of rock or... Or if maybe these are the extruded like lava tube yeah. thingy. Beautiful. Very striking features though. Wow. Um. Shrimp. Steve, can we zoom on, on this More shrimp closer. and then the coral? Let's check out this coral here. And the sea urchin. And the sea urchin. Can't forget the sea urchin. Oops. All right, thanks. Yeah, I really like this little seam feature. This is a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Agreed. And we're coming up to the crack again. Where is it? Mm. Is this it? That might be it. Yeah, is this the crack we came in on? I think it was. 
go out on the crack you came in on. <laughs> I think it might be one more. <laughs> over. Uh, it looked there, yeah, right on that, right on our. Uh, yeah. Our old dive line there. Well, let me have a quick look just yeah. to see. Yep. I have it six meters away from your current position. Can you give me a reset, but, please? Yeah. How far from my current position now? Even farther. <laughs> uh, ten meters. Okay. This we could do another ship move, I think. If nobody said yeah. that in a while. <laughs> it is really intensely lovely up here. Bridge now. So many different animals. Hi, Megan. Hi. Can we have another three zero meters, three three Whoa. zero, please? Those are huge. Thank you. And the mastis. Those are unreal. They look like pom poms. Yeah. <laughs> Like the big old school 1950s pom poms. <laughs> the huge pom poms. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go do a bit of a stretch out here and see if I can find that crack. Should be on it, like right now. Oh, yeah. There it is. Just out of camera. Crack's a gorgeous. Ah. Just under the, above the laser. Oh, maybe? yeah, that might yeah. be it. Are you pulling me? Yes, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> I yeah, so this anyway. all of this looks a like a bit. good Kay. spot for eDNA. So this is going to be Niskin 5 when you're ready. Okay, we just put a ship move in. Should we cancel that ship move? Oh, I, I was just saying this in case you wanted to come off bottom. I w wasn't sure. Oh, yeah, we still got a bit of time. Okay. Let's find the most perfect spot. <laughs> okay. Ah, you're on it. Negative. No. Resinged there in the bottom. Just went off Is screen. Is a non Chonicops just leaving screen now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did we. Lofida Day. Hmm. Lofia Day. Lofia Day. Right? So L O P H I I D A E. Yes. So there's that black yes. coral we and saw. Then there's Not um, yet. So we'll look on RobNav and figure out which way you should be facing. Yeah. Almost there. Yeah. There you are. Is that a black coral? There we go. The yes. Bathypathies. I guess that was the crack down here. There we go. So how is it? Cool. How easy is it in an eDNA sample to like tease apart all of these different <laughs> animals? <laughs> Ooh. You'd have to ask Meredith. if I don't know. Yeah, this is exactly the way we came. Let's yeah. take the eDNA sample right here. Right here. This fish in the view. Yeah. View. <laughs> I love so it. we you can, can go position. out looking at yeah. bridge Lofia map. Day. Uh. Can we hold position, please? Uh, bubble on Thank you. craft, please. Bubble on craft. Cool. I might ask you more about that in just a second. No, no, it's great. Niskin 5, did I say that? Niskin 5. Thank you. Good question for viewer. Why is it called a Niskin? It is actually named for yes. the inventor, Porchlight? Uh, Shale Niskin. Um, so it's a it's a proper name, but uh, it's a tube with two caps that snap closed. It's a water sampler in the generic form. Um, I think originally actually called a Nansen bottle. Um, and then this new design was made by Shale Niskin. Yeah, hey now. There we go. Fun fact. <laughs> All right. Uh, great. Triggered. And then when we back up, if we can just have a look at the fishy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We can see what we think it is. <laughs> I bet that fish you was like, that was so crazy. Cube. This like oh, huge bright thing do, came yeah. over <laughs> me. And then it left. Put this rock now down. it's back. Oh. Oh, yeah, light. we'll want to put the rock down, but not on the fish. Not on the fish. Do you like front porch view or craft view right now? Uh, craft view, please. Mm 
Okay. Is that one of Is those that the fish? Has? That's the fish. Yeah. On the left. It's just incredible on this little pinnacle. So tons of stuff that okay, might have been just to your left off the frame. Right there. Roger bottom that. Left. Yep. Oh. Sneaking in that little corner of rock. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is where we first saw it's the little boots. Cool. Little boots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which one does it look more like? Can we call them the little boots? This one or this one? Yeah. I don't know. Neither. Some like a uh, hybrid yeah. between them. Pull up we with the screen that you just oh, had. We got a sticky zoom situation. Yeah. Roger that. Do your best. There we go. The screen? Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, thank you. This is perfect. Yeah. Looks like this one. <laughs> Doesn't it? Well, we're not looking at it from the front, so I don't know. Okay. But that pattern looks. Yep. The pattern looks right. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Little, little one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those little boots. Oh my goodness. It's just really, really adorable. Like he's just wedged in cute. there, like waiting. Okay, it has spikes oh. on its So feet. those are modified pelvic fins. So cool. You know, you can see that ambush lifestyle, like down on the ground with them yeah. uh, propping the body up. Long, uh -huh. powerful tail for like lunge speed. And then a huge mouth. A huge, huge mouth. Yeah. Incredible. Okay, I think All we're right. good. Do we have a Thank couple you. options we're choosing between for an ID? I think, yeah, yeah. I think it's a Lophidiae sladenia reminger. That's kind of what I was going with too. Oh. Yeah. This oh one? yeah, that picture is better. This one and the last one were kind of facing towards the rock. That was the same one. Was it the same one? <laughs> was exactly I was wondering. One. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. That was my first question. I should have asked it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's so should awesome. we start making our way off bottom? I have a little bit uh, of bottom time while I stretch out, but. Yes, we can. We have accomplished all of our objectives and more. Great. Great. Great uh, let's safely get a away, really great up and away from the danger line. Danger, danger line. line. Walking Roger fish there, little right. Dania. What an incredible finale to this dive. Yeah. It's crazy how much it changed from when we got on the bottom this morning mm -hmm. to now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and even the last dive, right? To be on the same seamount yeah. and to see right. what like 3,500 meters looks like. Yep. And then to be up here in just a totally different stratigraphy. Like, <laughs> almost. Yeah, so tomorrow's dive will cover some of the same water depths as this one. So it'll be interesting to see. Tell us some more about it. What's up next? Yeah, so our next dive tomorrow uh, begins in about um, 17 hours and change. Mm -hmm. We'll be heading south to the King George Seamount, which is quite a bit bigger than Nootka and uh, has a flat top, uh, unlike Nootka, which is more of a conical shape seamount. Uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see if the, even though we're covering a similar depth range, I don't know that we're going to see this kind of feature that we've been seeing the last two hours or so of this presumed hyaloclastite um, uh, volcanic sediment that's covered over with this ferromanganese crust. I don't know if we're going to see that there. Hmm. All right, you can spin your head around, please. Oh, look at that. Oh, that right. is yeah. just gorgeous. Do you mind if it's to port or starboard? I do. Starboard? We're going to be port. recovery. You got this. Oh, I'm sure remember which way. It's normally to... Let me see. I feel like we've seen so many things here at the top. I just can't even quite let them sink in, like the little hermit crab yeah. with mm. his zoanthid shell. Oh, cool. It was really cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> how big how big was the zoanthid? Yeah, like it's gonna be over a port, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna uh, be port. Three, uh, it's gonna be port. That's hard to say. It was really small. Port, port. Was it like all of his all of its body covered, or just like yeah. a little hat on top? No, no most it of its body. Of body. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it was so like a was purple, pink, purple backpack with four <laughs> little zoanthids <laughs> stuck off. Um, and we oh. were testing the softness of the rock near it. And it definitely scampered away, like, get me out of here. <laughs> yeah. All the cool kids are going to wear be wearing those backpacks this fall. <laughs> Look at the size of that coral. Yeah, yeah. incredible. Ugh. Wow. Do we have to go? No. <laughs> Keep going, Ashton. If you get started, I can pull you the rest of the way. Okay. I'm fighting. Amazing. I love the little backpacks. Uh, if Thought you want to see something similar, check out the gallery page on there Nautilus Live. Um, there was a, a, a sighting of Keep one of these going. in um, our last expedition to King Wind Reef and Palmyra Atoll with a yellow orange yeah. backpack. So maybe oh, those are in vogue down you. in that you know region of the ocean. <laughs> Purple is the one here. Well, we saw one on an earlier dive too. That was like a... We did, it was a sponge. Was it a sponge? I thought it was a sponge. I don't remember. Like a, a hermit crab wearing a sponge. Do they pick oh. up the sponge or does the sponge grow on them? Hmm. I think they pick it up. Yeah, I don't remember. I have to go back and Actually, I have it. All right, ROV right is here. off bottom. Mm -hmm. Yay. Bye bye. Yay. Goodbye, beautiful nice female. Nice work. <laughs> All right, for great everyone watching team. along, this is a great time to get your questions in. For okay, the Steve, team. can you please put up the winch cam? Thank mm -hmm. you. Not a massive uh, blue water stretch here as we head up from 870 meters, but still a really good chance. Thank you. To See, chat. I snipped a little window in there. You snipped a, a window in that view, in the grating. Oh, you did. <laughs> yeah, now it's more seeable. Nice. Oh, so fix. you don't have it oh, blocking the view. Oh, your winch, I yeah. see. Yeah, future winch. Good fix. Okay, I'm making uh, 18 right now. All right, I'll catch up with you. Switch this to Match USBL. Up. Please, yep. Roger. Yeah, I'd say. There it is. Yeah, no, I think it was a zoanthidic. It wasn't a sponge. It was on the unnamed seamount north. Cool. See you, Megan. Oh, nice. Yes, love it. Yeah, I think that's my mistake. I was thinking that was even farther back than it was. We've seen so much since then. Well, it was Indeed. our second dive. It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, hey. like a whole 10 days ago? Two uh, weeks ago? 14th. Oh, okay. Nine days ago. Yeah. Wild. Feels like a long, long time, but... Maybe it was the 13th. The 14th might just be when I downloaded the photos. Okay, things are looking good. Um, I think um, on SPL, if it's something that everyone mm. can participate in here in the room, I'm about to hand it back over to Shelby. So, uh, be here, call to you. Go to cross training. Yeah, okay.
All right. So I'll show you how I do it first, and you can try the other way later. But I rest this kind of like this label right in the valley of my thumbs. I use my pointer finger to do the jaw. This is the jaw button, jaw close. This is also the jaw button. Those are the same button. They're connected. But I don't use the bottom one. Uh, and then the most important button is the halt button. Right now I'm moving this, and it's not moving because that green light is on. It's halted. Okay. You can also see index is written right there. Okay. So that is the two ways you can know that it is halted. And then to unhalt, press it once. And then now you've got the movement. And then press it again to stop. So the habit you want to get into is make sure the button press actually worked. Because sometimes you press it, it doesn't actually do anything. So then you put it down and it's live and it's moving all over the place like scary. So uh, don't worry about this one. Uh, this is your jaw rotate right now. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. And uh, this locks the jaw in its current state. So closed, lock, unlock. Okay. So that's what's going on. And right now you have, uh, what do we got? So we got jaw, close and open. We talked about that one. We got jaw roll, left, right. Those are these buttons and these buttons, all the fingers. Then this pivot point here and this pivot point here are wrist yaw and wrist pitch. Okay. So your left hand will just kind of hold it. Mm -hmm. I like to grab it. You can grab it however you feel comfortable. I usually put a finger on either side of this, and then it can move all these joints, okay. but you won't be doing those yet. Okay. And then this, these guys are locked correct. Yeah, so you can't, can't do it if you wanted to. But you still want to have a nice solid thing there. Okay. The other way you can do it is this way, but start with one way first. And okay, is there going to be enough scope here? Or maybe you got to jump in the seat. Let's move all this candy out of the way. Yeah, that's probably best. I can help can with, with the, the candy. You can help with the candy. <laughs> can you find a home for that candy? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hmm. Whose candy so is this? It's my candy. Communal <laughs> candy. And okay. about. I can't move my chair over because it's bolted to the floor. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it's my candy. One of them is my candy. One. One. Sorry, that was for very sure. aggressive. <laughs> so yeah, you can do it on the thing too. That's pretty standard. You just gotta move your mouse and stuff. But I highly recommend a solid base for your arm, elbow, forearm, whatever you can do, and it is halted, so you're safe to move it. Are you lefty or righty? Okay, great. That's convenient. Yeah. Okay, get to a few questions that were coming up during all of the excitement near the summit. Did Megan already talk about the next dive? I see like a few questions before she left. No? I'll say it again, just in case. Um, so we are ascending, um, and we are going to do some mapping, transit mapping, for about 16 hours, 16 hours, and are expected to uh, go back in the water at 12 noon, 
Hawaii time. Um, going back to King George Seamount. Shelby, do you have any of your crinoid facts? <laughs> crinoid facts. Let me look at this paper thing I wrote earlier. <laughs> oh, I did. I learned that their like actual body, where the, the arms sort of sprout out from, is called a calyx. I learned that, and it's where all of its body organs are, apparently. Um. I learned that I think the mouth can be in the middle or to the side, I think. Huh. Um, what else did I learn? Yeah, I learned that they crawled and can swim, and we sort of saw one bang into Herc a little bit earlier. No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Oh, wait. No, I'll try that one. OK, I'll try this. Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, Uh, what else, what else, what else? I learned that they were soup, they, yeah, I learned that they were some of the oldest echinoderms. I didn't know that, like, super ancient, like, people often find fossils with crinoids in them. Um, yeah, going back, like, hundreds and hundreds, uh, over 400 million years. Um, yeah, so some of the oldest echinoderms in the ocean learned that. And some other cool stuff. They're gorgeous. Oh, you're fine. That's awesome. They yes. are gorgeous. They it's are so gorgeous. so cool to see that one swim by yeah. earlier. But front row, you owe me like three ROV questions because all the excitement <laughs> was happening. <laughs> Oh, oh, if I can. Okay. <laughs> Let me scroll back. There were a couple right. of cool questions. Oh, okay. The question that I think I was trying to ask for this one person, I don't know if they're still um, on, but they were just wondering about the non-predator arm and what it does and when has it been used um, since they haven't really seen it used. I don't think we have used it uh, since we've been diving, but they were just wondering what the other arm is all about. and It was used a couple of days ago to convey oh, a wow. happy birthday message. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> we, um, <laughs> I'm also told it's been used to hold rope so that the craft arm can use a knife to cut it. Okay. But why were they cutting rope, Trevor? For engineering dives, uh, Ocean Networks Canada doing instrument deployment. So they'd have some cabled observatory sensors and instrumentation that we would carry around, move from one place to another, plug, unplug, all subsea, all at 2,000 meters depth. And oftentimes those connectors are quite sticky, so you got to have the second manipulator to press against it. So it's kind of like a grip stabilizer -y arm? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. Got that one. Um... There were a few more. Let me look back. Has anything ever bit or investigated the ROV was a question. I feel like it gets investigated a lot. <laughs> well, a crinoid like fish. slammed into it earlier. I don't know if that <laughs> counts. The shrimp came pretty close earlier. There was a fish that came kind of up to the camera. I think that happens a lot. They're curious. They're like, what are you? Why are you in my house? Um, somebody's wondering right now, why isn't Atl Atlanta looking at Hercules? We go butt to butt for a scent so that we can keep an eye on the tether and monitor our separation. Mm. Um, sorry, one sec. There we go. Um, yeah, so we go butt to butt for ascent. It keeps uh, the tether in sight, keeps us, 
you know, we can keep an eye on our separation, our vertical separation from each other. Mm -hmm. So you can see, I, I don't know if it's up on a, it is on a satellite feed channel three right now. Yes. That is Atalanta's butt end, tether end, and usually you can see Hercules in that view when I'm not speeding ahead too fast. Gotcha. Or when Hercules isn't passing me up. <laughs> cool. Let me see if there were so any more. That's just standard ops for us. Okay. I don't think I see any more ROV questions, but I may have missed some, and I shall bring them back up if I see them. Oh, I think I know the answer, or semi-answer to this question. Did I we stop moving, Trevor? Asked it. No. What's your ascent rate? Oh. Okay. I was. Make sure they're okay. That's good. Um, I know the somebody's asking about the stickers on the arm, and I know that the white ones for white balance. <laughs> okay, there we go. I do know that, and um, I think the other ones serve a sim similar color or purpose. But I'll let Stephen. <laughs> yeah, the other it. ones just uh, are red, green, and blue, RGB to reference and make sure that our colors are looking correct. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen, do you mind putting the winch cam up for a second on V3? Some people just aren't interested in what that looks like. Thank you. Uh, front row, if you're still on SPL, somebody's wondering what is the pound per square inch of the claw? I don't know if we know that answer. No clue. I, I can give a soda can analogy. I, <laughs> <laughs> I feel, or Coke can, as we call it. Coke can. <laughs> in the South, it's all Coke. Um, I... Well, so I do think you could probably look up the actual forces mm -hmm. um, online or on the craft website or something, but Trevor has tested the full extent of the arm strength, and I think it has nine levels, and level one can pick up a an empty soda or Coke can without denting it. Level nine can pick up a full Coke can and explode it. Yeah. So, 
convert that into numbers. Yes, but convert, that into <laughs> convert that into mathematical things. Yeah. <laughs> so they've tested that in the shop. What other ROV questions? Do yeah, you somebody's have? wondering if a small jackhammer mechanism can be added to the predator arm <laughs> to assist with <laughs> rock collection. That might be a little <laughs> too damaging. I don't know <laughs> to the environment. A little too damaging. That might be a little too damaging to the environment. Oh, take also, a whole jackhammer to. <laughs> good luck finding a jackhammer rated for deep sea pressures. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Lynette, are you working the winch? I'm, s I'm not the winch, the uh, working Herc. I'm so excited. <laughs> Me? No, Lynette. Oh, Lynette. She's <laughs> doing the arm. That's amazing. Since we're coming up from a shallower depth than usual, what's our estimated reach in the top? Do we know? We're hoping to be on surface just before 8 p.m., mm. so in just under an hour. Roger. Oh, winch question. How <laughs> does it, how does how does the winch shed the salt water and does the salt water affect the winch as in corrosion? I think I saw them washing it the other day. I don't know. I appreciate that there are winch fans out there. There are a couple of winch fans. They are thing. like, We love the winch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> typically hardcore you want winch fans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you have an answer, Diane? You definitely want to rinse that cable. A lot of people do that as it's coming back in. They'll have like a little sprinkler at the top. Mm. Rinse that winch. Yeah. Because the salt water, yes, will corrode. That's bad. Yeah, we don't rinse it all that often, but uh, any kind of water salt or fresh that's coming onto this, whether it's from the ocean or from the rinsing, uh, falls into a trough and gets funneled down into the bilge where it's then gathered. Do they like, <laughs> I see all that grease that comes off the cable. Do they like grease or oil the winch to help yeah. protect it? Yeah, we grease the cable once a year. We okay. use environmentally friendly cable lube. And that's important for any stainless steel rope, whether or not it has conductors and stuff inside it. Um, it allows all the different layers to move relative to each other as load is applied or removed. Okay, I have more. Ready for more joints? Personal, not personal, but eh, semi fun question, I guess. I mm, guess it depends. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see. It, we'll see. It, we'll see. Anyway, I was wondering what, if you go to concerts, what has been everybody's most favorite concert that you've ever been to, and who was it? Like a music concert. I saw John Prine at Red Rocks. Oh, that's um, cool. About a year before he passed, and he was playing with the Colorado Symphony, and it was amazingly beautiful to sit out in that canyon with the stars up above and listen to John Prine. <laughs> now I feel 
It's sad that I don't know who this is. <laughs> I know who um, that is. I wish I'd been there. Uh, big time <laughs> songwriter. Okay. Yeah. What, Cla started in the classical? 70s, 80s? No, Americana. Oh. <gasps> sort of like oh. country like folk. folk. Yeah. yeah, Americana. What's the last name? Prime. Prime. John Prime. That sounds like a great concert. John it was amazing. Oh, yeah, okay. I love it. Was the guitar his main instrument? Yes. I love think it. his instrument was the pen. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, very deep. <laughs> <laughs> I think his instrument was the pen. <laughs> the sea pen. <laughs> the sea pen. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I haven't been to a whole lot of concerts, but definitely nothing has topped Beyonce's Lemonade concert oh, for me. Oh, that sounds amazing. Um, and I went alone, and it was so fun just sort of feeding off the energy of like everybody else who had also come along. <laughs> and we it were just like a great time. Yes, it was amazing. Um, so nothing has topped that yet, although I'm going to see Silk Sonic, if people know who Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack is, in a couple weeks. And I've heard amazing things about that concert. But I don't know, Beyonce is like, you know, Beyonce. So <laughs> you don't, you never know, you never know. Yeah, hard to beat Beyonce. It's hard to beat Beyonce for mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> what about you, Ashton? Oh, I have not been to a ton of concerts, but one that sticks in my mind because I was very impressionable and very, <laughs> very into them was Mumford and Sons. Oh, and Mumford and Sons. Back in college and undergrad. And I think it was, so the original concert was canceled because mm -hmm. I think one of the band members had like a head injury or something. Uh -huh. And then they rescheduled it. And I think it was down in the Woodlands, Texas. Mm -hmm. I think that's where it was. And it was this cool outdoor venue on like this knolly knoll, knobby knoll, hilly <laughs> <Nobby>. hill. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty unforgettable concert. That's cool. I feel like outside concerts are always really great. I yes. hope Annabelle's listening down in the lab. I think she's a huge fan of Mumford and <laughs> So Annabelle, she's so. got good taste. Yeah. Annabelle is listening. I'm so happy you said that was your favorite concert. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm still cool with Gen Z. No. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe. Annabelle, sometimes I also wear wide leg jeans. <laughs> <sighs> That's funny. Okay, now you're trying too hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, reel I it in. It back. I reel it, back. it in. <laughs> Oh, man. That's funny. All right. I'm speeding up a little. Slow it down, Atlanta. <laughs> Trevor, are you training, or do you have a concert you can share? Uh, if you go to concerts, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I've been struggling since you asked that question to pick a favorite. <laughs> I don't know. How do you pick a favorite? Yeah, seriously. Well, maybe most memorable. Maybe it doesn't have to be favorite, but, like, when you think of some of the concerts you've been to and, like, the first one that sort of pops in your head, like, oh, that was a night, you know? Oh, they're all. I mean, most of them are really good. <laughs> um, I would say a big one was the Tragically Hip in my hometown. Okay. Was, oh, uh, I was, like, waiting for the band name. Like, the Tragically Hip who? The Canadian <laughs> Wonder Band. Yeah, the one oh. that, yeah, the Canadian legend. What's that? Likely, yeah. Well, of course, yeah. Yeah, that was that was a really cool show. Um, they just have such good stage energy. That's and awesome. And it's just, I don't know, it's a Canadian legend. I have to look all these amazing people up. More Canadians listen to Tragically Hip than say A. To give you a sense of scale. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I guarantee you, 100% chance. They had their last concert ever. They streamed it live. And there was, I think, a third of the country tuned, tuned in. Wow. Oh, wow. It was like 
10 million viewers. Cool. Do you have more ROV questions coming in, Shelby? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> are you spying on me? No. <laughs> you yes. are. Yes, you are. You are. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. <laughs> Sorry, it's blue water. <laughs> just, just answer them when you see them. <laughs> just go for it. But no, I'll say no, them. No, I let you read the conversation. <laughs> you're, you're the pro. I'll say. <laughs> I trust you. I, I would let you do it. <laughs> okay. Ashton, let me ask you this question that you have absolutely no <laughs> idea about. Yes, Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> How deep can Hercules safely go? Oh, Hercules can go to 4,000 meters. <gasps> and Trevor has taken it almost that far down. Um, Atalanta can go to 6,000 meters, not to brag, but <laughs> I don't know if it's been, I don't yeah, know how deep it's been. Yeah, has it been? been? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How often do you use Atalanta and Argus without Hercules? Yeah. Yeah, I figured that. Okay. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. So it looks like I think Trevor was saying that rarely um, Atlanta goes down without Herc. Yeah. It's so like one time. Yeah. Oh, you're not an SPL. I gotcha. So I gotcha. not a whole lot of chances to go <laughs> down. But um, cool, cool. Uh, what other sensors are on the submersibles besides the camera? Hmm. There um, is oxygen sensor. There's a CTD for salinity, pressure, and density to help calculate sound velocity. There is, one second, there are a number of cameras, which are in a way <laughs> sensors. Um, we. They're probably the sensors we learn the most from. Oh, what else? I'm looking for a picture of Herc. There are a couple of sonars. Those aren't really sensors, but yeah. there, there's a sonar altimeter on um, Atalanta. Oh, okay. And a pressure depth sensor on Atalanta. There's a... Sorry, <laughs> there's a, I heard my name, there's a Doppler velocity log on uh, Hercules that helps sense the depth uh, or the distance from the bottom of the seafloor um, relative just to Hercules, mm -hmm. not relative to the ship. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for my slow answers. I no, you're good. You're good. I'm like a lot of people on uh, <laughs> <laughs> my ear over here. You're good. You're there good. Go. Um, <laughs> somebody's wondering if the ROV has an infrared camera, which I think is a no. It's a no. It's a no. I did know that one. Yeah. It is a no, but, you know, never know. Maybe one day. Yeah. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm like seeing people. They're like, you don't know who John Prine? Go look at <laughs> all of his songs right now. You've probably like heard a song by him and Maybe. just didn't know it. Yeah. He's one of those guys that's written so many songs that have been covered by so many people. You almost don't know who wrote the original sometimes. So. Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to look that up. And then I think somebody was referring to the concert that Trevor was talking about. And they said Canada shut down for that for the last concert. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I have to look up these people. I love music, so I'm always open. And I love lots and lots of genres. So I am down to look that up. Let me put that in my phone. All right. <laughs> They're saying John Prine is better than Beyonce. You know, maybe I'll have to take, I, a, I'll have to take a listen. 
I will play you a song called In Spite of Ourselves, and you will wonder what is going on. <laughs> <laughs> Diane's like, oh, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. That is my go-to John Prime. <laughs> I have to sing it when I hear it. I know. <laughs> uh, let me see. Do a couple more questions. Is it, oh, where's the mic? Okay. Is it normal to not see many fish when ascending or descending? Uh, we see some things come across the screen. Green yeah, every now and again. Every now and again. Um, so not uncommon that we don't see a whole whole lot, but some things do grace us with their presence for sure. We are going down and coming up. Um, Sure, I'm not skipping over any. If you accidentally miss um, getting your question answered, Shelby loves it if you just send it to her. Ten more times. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty just more kidding. times. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that to Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they were coming in so fast when we were just seeing all of the stuff. Oh my goodness, that was such a bonanza. It was it was just top. a bonanza I and it was even, just like I was trying one to type question for like, like every like five seconds. <laughs> I was like, I can't hold on. You're gr yeah, I'm holy watching. moly. Yeah, you're great at staying on top of it. And then I have to double check with Megan. I can't see past a certain point. So like they like go away. <sighs> Somebody saying a good John Prine song that you'll recognize is Angel from Montgomery. Yeah, uh, Bonnie Raitt does a version of it that's probably maybe even more popular than his original, but yeah, I bet you'd recognize that. Yeah, I'll definitely have to go take a listen. Um, oh, back to ROV for you, Ashton. Um, uh, folks are wondering how many storage places are located on Hercules. Um, just two bio boxes, and then they have compartments within them. So I want to say they're, one of the scientists might know better. They look in the boxes more <laughs> than I do. <laughs> so they're, yeah. Two in the forward box, and then how many in the starboard bio? We've got it divided into six, so four smaller, two larger. Then we've got the three push cores that yeah. are on. We and have... A carousel of slurps. Oh, I forgot about the carousel of slurps. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. that's right. And then and we have the Niskin right? bottles uh -huh, and a flush. So we keep one so that we can flush the system. And a front porch for random things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then I think you had mentioned one of the sensors was for sound velocity, and somebody's just wondering why is it important to measure? What is the live viewer count record for a Nautilus dive? I don't know. Live viewer count record. That's a good question. I know there's definitely a couple of hundred people who watch on YouTube um, at any given time when we're diving, so that's a big chunk.
Um, for folks who may have missed some of the uh, dives recently, there are highlights that go up on nautiluslive.org um, as quickly as we can get them up there, especially the really exciting moments. And um, a, a new video just posted in the gallery just now, um, the Headless Chicken Monster <laughs> yes. is up um, from uh, Loudon, Luden. I still don't say that right, Beth. How do I say that? Okay, gonna give it my my best try. <laughs> um, Lunden Seamount, L O U D O U N. Um, but that highlight is up. If you go on nautiluslive.org and uh, click on the gallery tab, you can take a look at that, um, as well as the sea dandelion video has been put up. Chanakops is up there. A bunch of really cool, um, exciting things are up. Oh, that's a good question. Good work, Lynette. Let me see. Front row, are you still in SBO? There's a tethered sure. question. Yeah. Um, somebody's wondering, um, they watched a stream of uh, OETs a couple years back, and one of the engineers at that time talked about a specific term for the nodding tangling that can occur in the tether. Do you know what this term is? Wuzzle. A wuzzle? 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 That's not really for specific for. Or are we talking birdcage? I don't know. They just said for the nodding tangling that can occur in the tether. So if it's t so the tether can't bird cage. So let's talk about the six eight bird caging. Okay. You have a a braided anything, any kind of rope or line or wire or heck even your hair. If it's in a braid or something, and you push it together, it kind of spreads out. Mm -hmm. When you have a cable under tension and it does that, it can.
twist up and get all tangled up, and it looks like a big birdcage. Huh. That sounds but like a bad deal. Yeah, that sounds bad, like something that you don't want to happen. I do not want that to happen. <laughs> Uh, tether can't do that because it is not, it's contained in a plastic she thing, so it does not have that birdcage ability, mm. uh, for lack of a better term. But, I don't know, there's a colloquial term we just all use on here. I don't know where it came from. Uh, anything getting tangled up is just all in a big wuzzle. <laughs> How do you spell that, wuzzle? <laughs> W-U-Z-Z-L-E, Z-Z-L-E for you yanks. <laughs> Wuzzle. Wait, you would you say Zed says? <laughs> yeah. All the non Canadians in this room. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this one. If you could bring a celebrity to add commentary to an expedition, who would you choose? My brain went to Morgan Freeman, but my heart went to Matthew McConaughey. Oh, Matthew McConaughey would be funny Good and answer. interesting. That was a great <laughs> answer. He narrates like a, there's a cool museum in Dallas. It's uh -huh. like the Ross Perot Science Museum. Uh -huh. It is so awesome. If you live anywhere near there, it's worth like. Ross, sorry, say one more time, Wait, 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 the, the Ross Perot Science Museum. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it has some, it has like the most amazing gemstone exhibit I've ever seen. It has oh. like an awesome entire floor for hands-on science activities and engineering activities for like kids. It is just really well done. <laughs> um, yeah, I gotta look that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I just love his voice in general. It's very distinct. But there is a, yeah, there's a space section in there, and Matthew McConaughey does some of the narrating. Can I please get bubble on the res and system pressure? Yes. That's cool. Res and... Uh, just a little bump down. Thank you. Yeah, let me see if I can focus that. Yeah. I'll agree. Yeah. I'll, I'll piggyback. <laughs> I'll take McConaughey. That'd be that'd be a very <laughs> engaging <laughs> voice. David Attenborough. Oh yeah, oh, classic. That's a good call. Nice. Classic. Hmm. I just said that's a good call. That is a good call. Yeah. Such a good call. Oh, or um, <laughs> what's her, what's her name? <laughs> is Angela Lansbury still alive? <laughs> I don't think I know who I it is. I think she <laughs> passed away. She was Mrs. Potts on <gasps> Beauty and the Beast, but she married I think she a lot I of think, things. I think she passed away. Let me see. Oh, wait, maybe. Uh. Wait, maybe not. Hold on. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Dame Lansbury. Uh, oh wait, no, yeah, maybe in 2019, I think. What was the original question? Who we want to narrate our... Yeah, if we can invite a celebrity to come narrate uh. the... <laughs> so ours are stopped. I think that's on your checklist too. We're at 125 meters. I think it wouldn't be bad to listen to Sean Connery myself. Oh. I think that is the only right choice. <laughs> Wait, so are we just kicking Matthew McConaughey to the side? Yeah. yeah. It's all about Sean Connery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about But Morgan Freeman also. Like, those are probably my job, too. David Attenborough, I mean, classic. Wait, what's he narrating? One just of our dives? One of the, the dives, dives, I think. Okay, yeah. not day to day. <laughs> no. He's taking Shelby's job. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> no, he can't take Shelby's place. job. She's got to be on, on the party line with us. Yeah, we need you here. All of us. <laughs> he can take it if I can, like, go live in his house while he, like, does my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. I'll be like, yeah, here you go. Sit in this seat. I'm going to sit at your pool. It's like that old trading yeah. places. So trading places. <laughs> sure, we could trade places for a day. <laughs> Absolutely. Give me the keys to your LA mansion. I appreciate it. Someone said Jack Black. 
Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that I would be can't picture his voice. <laughs> All I hear is like Kung Fu Panda in my head. <laughs> he would be so funny. He would do, yeah, that'd be hilarious. I can't picture his voice. <laughs> I think it's Tenacious D. Sort of dive. <laughs> yeah, Look Snoop Dogg. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yes, Uncle Snoop for sure. <laughs> Snoop, you've been on a lot of TV shows, so if you're listening, okay, this That's job true. for you. <laughs> we got a job you for you. <laughs> we got a job job. for you. You can pronounce some scientific exactly. names. Exactly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, hilarious. Wouldn't it be great to listen to him like fumble oh. over some of these scientific names? <laughs> or just like make up new or make words. Or make up new, make new names. Yeah. Because that's what it's going to be that for sure. That is the razzle dazzle anemone. Like, I don't know. <laughs> the razzle dazzle anemone. <laughs> <laughs> Half the names we couldn't say publicly though. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. But still love him. <laughs> um, okay, I'll switch to a more educational question because we are trying to inspire the next generation. I know. Of ocean explorers, okay? Yeah. Um, so um, someone is just wondering how did you all get to this point in your career to be doing what we're doing and for the folks um, operating the ROVs to learn to work with the ROVs. So how did you make it all the way to this point where you are actively doing this work and actively operating a robot. I'll let the ROV people go first because that's the people's favorite. I feel like that is a good Trevor question. <laughs> 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 Trevor! <laughs> I just studied mechanical engineering. I have a bachelor's degree and I originally came out to Nautilus as a contractor. Did and you? And I'm coming back for what's how many years? Six years? Seven wow. years? This is my Radio comms. Where did you get all of your hands-on experience, Trevor? Because I know from experience, you don't necessarily get that in engineering school. You do not. <laughs> I don't know. Other jobs, hobbies, yeah, clubs. Mm. And here a lot, really. Yeah. Awesome. We're at 64 meters. I never even thought I would be doing ocean exploration. No, it's me really neither. funny that I'm even on this ship. <laughs> no, me neither. Uh, I kind of. I mean, did did we do ever define the wuzzle? Like, I think if you were to draw my career path, it would <laughs> it would look like a wuzzle or a bird nest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's always good to just stay open because you never know. Yeah. When an opportunity presents itself, you gotta jump. That's how you end up in Antarctica. Gotta go. It, it's true. It's how you end up here. Um, I think you follow a lot of curiosity. Yep. That's how I've decided my career path. And you gotta, I don't know, just jump in and sometimes be a beginner again. Yeah. You know. Winches stopped at 50 meters. Trevor, do you have any yeah, idea what um, up? the sort source for the quad, like the winch quad would be. Control um, van is ready. For that so monitor bridge, main deck, the winch. Check. Main deck bridge, loud and clear. Are we okay to recover? Bridges go for recovery. So we are just crossing so coming the up. 50 meter mark, coming up towards the surface. Ending a fantastic dive. Fantastic indeed. Yeah. Magical, almost. Yeah, I mean, we only had, what, two, a not even two not hours even. On, oh. on the bottom at the end of this dive, and it was incredible what we saw, so. It'll be interesting to see at the shallower depths of King George. Yeah, kind of compare a little and bit. And compare, yeah. I feel like every one of our dives has been so very different. Mm -hmm. You can really kind of characterize each one. Um, but yeah, 
It was a bonanza at the pinnacle there. <laughs> it was so a, many different like, animals and species. My fingers was like, fish, d I know. I was <laughs> uh, we don't, what is that? We don't know. Okay, I'm just going to say large red fish with spots. Here you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot. Yeah, I agreed. I'm trying to type into, you know, like the science <laughs> log like <laughs> of like different species that we're seeing. There's just too many to try and get to. And, you know, I'm trying to confirm that with some of our scientists ashore who have yeah. a, a trained eye for these things. And, um, yeah. So I think it might take me a little while to settle down and go to sleep <laughs> this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Dreaming of I know random animals. I know fish and marine invertebrates and sponges. Oh my. And thank you everybody who tuned in. You guys had some great questions and hopefully this helped your Saturday go by <laughs> in a good way. Um it was a lot of excitement today and we always appreciate all the questions and Hope that you all learn so much. We always learn so much. Every time. Every time. Every time. And you too can come on the Nautilus. Yeah, if that's you right. There's <laughs> if the you're program yep. for students and scientists yep. and interns. Yep. So, so yep. go to nautiluslive.org. Go under education and look into all the opportunities. There are internships, fellowships, um, I think you have the opportunity, it won't be on the Nautilus, but if you want to maybe join Scientists Ashore to help us identify things. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of ways to be involved. Yep. Um, so. Like Trevor said, he was a contractor, so you never know. Man, someone said they saw Prince in concert twice. Oh, That's man. That's like... Wow. Yeah, I've got a few bucket list concerts that I'd really like to get to. Um, it's been a little hard music-wise the last couple of years yeah. with, with the COVIDs, but... Absolutely. Oh, Angela Lansbury is alive. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell. It was mixed answers on Google. Oh, James Earl Jones for a narrator. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. That's, oh, a, good that's one. a good one. I like that. Bridge, please reduce thrust to 25%. Copy that. Jet pump back to 25%. You know who I also think would be fun, actually? Um, what is, uh, well, I'll just tell you, Michelle Obama, but she, like, she narrated her own autobiography. I still need to read that. It is so good. I recommend listening to Audi it. Okay. Yeah, as an audio book. Okay. Because she's reading it. It's just so incredible to hear it in her voice. I'm going to do that. I'm going to yeah. listen to you. I'm going to do that. She has a beautiful voice and just, I don't know, yeah. her cadence and mm -hmm. all, yeah, just. Some people just have that, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you are following along at home, Atlanta is coming out of the water. Yep. Herc hovering in the back, waiting. His turn. Bridge, please increase thrust to 90% and hold position. Yeah, copy that. Restoring power to the jet pump and hold position.
Shelby, do you guys see those green fish around butt cam? Um, green coming. fish? Yeah, there's some green fish coming and going between the ROVs. They're really pretty. I have not seen them. I thought I've been watching. Yeah. But Check out butt uh, cam. I'm looking now. They come and go. Are they small or medium or large? Medium. Medium. But my perspective of large has been greatly <laughs> skewed. <laughs> I understandable. I, I feel that. Come on, fish. Securing Atalanta and yep. getting ready to pull Herc from the water. We are ascending for that person wondering. We are just finished with the dive. Mm -hmm. 